I can't stop. It's stuck in my head. This stupid hot dog. Right? <laughs> God, what have you done to me? <laughs> I mean, the worst part is that you didn't even watch King of the Hill. No, so I have no context like... for it at Wait, all. Wait, you've never watched King of the Hill? Uh, my well, dad. Well, okay. My dad used to watch it, but Your like I've seen it. Your dad watched King of the Hill, but yeah. you didn't watch King my of the Hill. My dad watched Simpsons and King of the Hill. What? Um, <laughs> I didn't really watch. No, not really. Wow. I've seen okay. it every now and then, but well, my you're way too it. old to have the, this as your life story. We I wasn't need... allowed to watch <laughs> Simpsons. My All right, we're gonna let we're me. gonna make newbie King of the Hill so you can get Sarah. <laughs> you can do newbie Simpsons too because I've never seen it either. Oh my god, oh, there are so many of those have podcasts. Seen, have, have seen, uh... <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be doing this till the day where we die. Have so. you seen Married with Children? Married with Children? No. You know That's what? I very rarely actually sat down and watched anything. whole episodes of that show. Oh, I, I've probably seen every single episode. I think that uh, in the multiverse of TV, Elle Bundy and Ted Bundy are brothers. Long <laughs> lost, like, st- like half brothers. <laughs> the, the, or like one at least kept, cousins. Yeah. yeah. One kept yeah. it clean and just sold shoes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was just like miserable and he didn't. He didn't and have could have had an amazing football career if it wasn't yeah. for that injury. Yeah. 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 Is King of the Hill still on, on air? Like new episodes? Yeah. It's still. Really? Uh, no, it's, it's not. It's been on for 50 years. <laughs> Oh my god! I mean, I they were know. they were looking to to bring it back, but I think, then I think, the I think voice of Dale Gribble died, and I don't yeah. know if they recorded much yet. Yeah, I mean, Simpsons, yeah. Simpsons is um Simpsons. Simpsons is still Simpsons going. Still on. Yeah, I know yeah, that. But that. That's the anomaly. Well, well I guess Simpsons. Family Guy is still cranking out new episodes too at this point now. Right, but Sa- Family Guy's had a similar level of consistency since it came back. Simpsons is like a completely different type of show. <laughs> now, what music do you think Riker listens to? Mm, jazz. Ladies, New Orleans jazz. New Orleans That's jazz. It. Yeah, because he likes trombones. Not New Orleans jazz. Um, he listens to opera. <laughs> Italian opera. <laughs> Who? He is Italian sometimes. Who? He listens to Riker? the intro of Beyond Belief. <laughs> yeah. yeah, over and over. No, I'm yeah. Just yeah. So, oh wait, you meant Riker. Riker. Um, he listens to um. He listens to classical music like Biggie and Tupac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To, yeah. Sure, dude. <laughs> dude, when, when he when he's getting For ready sure, to mix a lot. Yeah, I think I think when when they're like, hey, you're gonna go on a away mission. <laughs> right before he goes, he's like, I'll go get, go get ready. And he goes to his, his quarters and he fucking puts on fucking Tupac, dude. Yeah. Why <laughs> does no one listen to music while they're waiting on Shuttlecraft to get somewhere? You know what I they mean? They should, dude. You know, like fucking Jordy. Copyright. Remember, but, but like, it can make up music. Like yeah. DMCA just got worse and worse and worse <laughs> to the point where you can't even in play life, music anymore. It'll, it'll, it'll flag you in real life somehow. Yeah. <laughs> or the, the turbo lift doesn't even have like elevator music. No elevator I, music. I was, uh, yeah, they lift. should. Like, it's really boring and, and, and kind of it's like a imagine, torture thing. Imagine the scene that's in this of the turbo lift with uh, oh, like yeah. some music <laughs> added. I think it would Stop. very much add. Yeah, yeah. but have yeah. you ever had your life demonetized? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true, dude. There's, there's like, there's like <laughs> soul demonetized. There's this music playing in the background as Deanna yeah. is going, but I really bum, think bum, we should bum, support bum, their new space society. I have, to, space society. <laughs> I have <laughs> to tell you something. I fucked that guy. I'm so sorry. Uh, and now no, she did. And now I'm actually. super into eugenics. <laughs> Nine, Nine Inch Nails is playing in the background. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know what? Dude? More classical music. I, yeah. <laughs> I'm a I'm a fan of Metallica. Well, mm-hmm. like yeah. old Metallica, not not new Metallica. Mm-hmm. Oh, she just okay. retired, dude. Uh, hot take. Um, but did you know? Never that, exit Sandman. Did you know? Yeah. After after um, you know you what? enter I'll, and then that's it. I'll accept. L- load was okay. After the load, I, I stopped listening. I don't know. Um, Master of Puppets, of course, right? No, that, that's that's, like that's a piece of shit song. That everyone uh, no, it's good. It's a good song. It's a good song. <laughs> um, but you know, did you know that uh, they used to use when they were looking for Bin Laden, they would torture. Um, <laughs> yeah, they would torture. Uh, yeah, ter- like oh, with heavy metal. Oh. Yes. With heavy metal, yeah. Yeah. they would play Metallica for like mm-hmm. hours, and mm-hmm. they'd be like anything but fucking Lars drumming, dude. Please, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anything what if you were into it and you're like i there's scenes yeah. in, I in ozark where where yeah. fucking jason bateman is getting tortured with heavy metal music well that makes sense yeah. while trapped in a hole so. well, i mean anything that loud and intense for long enough like even if you like it at first i'm sure it gets old 
Uh, yeah. Like even if you like the the ba ba bam 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 like once you just once you take in ten showers, you're like, oh, I'm done with this. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's, now it's scrubbing my skin off. No, yeah, I'm oh, too clean. No. <laughs> you know how if I was in charge, if I was a captain, mm-hmm. this Alice. episode would have gone real quick. No. Oh. It would have been like, Hey guys, uh you guys are gonna get blown the fuck out if you don't get on the ship. Goodbye. Oh, we don't want to because we're just, okay. Uh are you sure? Uh yeah, no, we don't want to go. Are you sure? Yeah, we don't want to. All right, fuck off. And then we Goodbye. just leave, dude. Go to the local. Like, all right, they don't want to go. Go to local fucking Master Taco Bell. Master Peace Society. Yeah. More like Master in Pieces Society. Yeah. <laughs> and we would have been Got done. Him. Yeah, like, like first of all, before we get into this, it, they don't have warp technology, right? Why are we fucking interfering? No. Let's just let them fucking die. They're humans. Well, it's because they're supposedly human, and so. And they did yeah. get their using warp. Te- they did get their using warp technology, but somehow don't have it anymore. Answer me. Yeah, this, it's kind of weird. <laughs> it seems this. like they're just abandoned on that planet. Or yeah. right. Why do really like um? Why do cults and <laughs> I'm gonna phrase, try to phrase this correctly so I don't get Nazis. Too much. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Uh, n- n- you I'll come around to the actual question, but I, I'm I'm kind of tiptoeing because like I don't read any of the comments we get, but Marvin does, and I'm trying to be nice to Marvin. No, I'm fine. Uh, I think Sarah reads some of them. Maybe Dan. Mm-hmm. I keep telling Sarah not to I do it from time to yeah. time. I um, do occasionally. But why is it that like really religious folk or some cults mm-hmm. like they're like time travelers? They don't have a, like fashion sense. Like they, they oh. <laughs> it, it literally feels like. <laughs> They're like 15, 20 years behind on everything. Well, it's, you know, because they want to stick with tradition. Tradition is what feels safe to them. And that's why. That, that's 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 it, literally. It's just. Well, it's funny because even doing traditional stuff, they're still, they're still modern, but like 10 years ago. Mm. Like if you look at someone like, there's a, there's a famous. Like, can you give examples? I'm actually struggling to understand what uh, you're talking about. Okay. Like, like, uh, I don't want to say their names, but like the Duggars. Oh, um, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. like th- it looks like they have the fashion from like the eight, like late 80s yeah and it's like, not 10 years ago dude because yeah because that's yeah. now that's just like old enough yeah. to be still now transferred for to no conservative. Oh, I have, I have, fuck. I have yeah, a good yeah. example marvin from when we were watching this uh weekend the um sister wives and we're yeah. like all i, I was i was of, not watching <laughs> all of all of their fashion oh, is like very outdated you just, you just exposed marvin <laughs> We were well, definitely watching Sister Wives. No, I'm kidding. I was watching Sister Wives. Marvin they were forcing the me to play it in front of my face while we're eating dinner. But that just, might be a good example. They're super, super yeah, religious, yeah. right? And so, and all of their fashion is just like it's, their choices and yeah. their hairstyles and the way they it's, it's carry it's themselves. It's conservatism. It's very, and, it's and I very understand, dating. but like, but if you like think about literal it, like, conservatism, like, like, like literally conservative. They're showing their ankles. That's fucking pervert. Because now that's somebody. fine. And oh, 40, but 40 years we were, ago, the episode we were watching. Watching, the controversy was about wearing earrings, like and yeah, how yeah. they're not allowed to wear earrings in their religion. Yeah, because too sexy. It's not caught up to them to be oh, a no, conservative. Also, oh no, I'm sorry. Yet. That's not the reason why they said if God wanted holes in your ears, He would have put holes in your ears. I yeah, guess. dude. So, well, like, that's why you only have. To... Yeah, so you only have he one did. butthole. That's how you hear. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, get right. Here's the thing, talk. though. <laughs> <laughs> like these people that we visit in this episode, mm-hmm. they're definitely like. Wearing like eighty shit, and clearly we're in the nineties. You know what I mean? Well, I yeah. kind of like their outfits. I do, and they're, they're like, of, yeah, like the wardrobe fair, actually stuck out to me. Is like this is actually kind of stylish. We like the, the pumpkin suit the guy was yeah. wearing. Marvin, all, I liked it. I, I, I like, kind of like all the it. citizens in all <laughs> TNG episodes kind of dress like this. Actually, like no, no, just, because these like these, block these, okay, colors. I'll say this about like uh, Tim, the leader of the group. Uh-huh. Like he's well dressed, but if he was in the eighties. Well, yeah, this is this is like ninety two. So I know that's they're ten years behind, bro. Well, I mean, mean, it's 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 like ninety two. There's still remnants of the eighties moving. Yeah, there's a lot of early nineties that feels like the eighties still. We could like visit other episodes where other random we visit other random societies and they are dressed similarly as well. Like the one where, um, remember the guy who he kept talking. We kept joking. He talks like a southern guy. I see. I see the guy that they they uh, they dubbed over. He's like, I'm a method actor. Actor. Like I that see, guy, I see. they all I think, kind of dress like this, this too. Character. Yeah, but <laughs> the colors weren't as striking. Seven. Like yeah, I yeah. really think the yeah. designs are better this time well, around. It's for this. Compare this the, to like uh, Riker's dead or well, see here they yeah, intentionally made shit, dude. They made no, he's not. <laughs> yeah, dude. 
He's a from the future. <laughs> he, or that he, one guy who fights. went to go die. He had that horrible suit. Well, Ooh. well, they made what this about clothing. Teabag, teabag yeah. looks cool. As well, shit, well they're making this clothing more vibrant because they're trying to be like this place they're living in is vibrant. Their environment is vibrant. Well, so the only like, point I'm making is that I liked how they looked. And you're trying to assert that they looked the, exactly the same as everyone else has in the past. It's and not I'm exactly saying, no. the same. No, they stood uh, out. They stood out. These people but stood out, But a lot out, of dude. the, uh, like, like... So other than the extra color, many of the aesthetic choices are similar, honestly. Like, dude, it's, it, not it's everybody like the looks, zippers, it's the everybody blocking looks, of the color. Yeah, everybody looks like they're in an 80s music video. <laughs> yeah, Amadeus, with all Amadeus, the purples Amadeus, and Amadeus, the pinks Amadeus, and the, like, the other suits are more color. like, like I yeah. would say the person who's dressed most like previous citizens is um that that con- that guy who's like, oh, stop messing with our DNA and shit. Like that guy. Lawrence Which Fishburne? guy? Which guy? Which yeah, guy? He looks like everyone the else to me. Lawrence Fishburne guy. But oh, like you could dude, look at the Canada. episode he's from where, Canada. Like, remember when they when they were the ones who went to another alien planet and sort of infiltrated them and the the aliens with the weird three fingers yeah and they fuck Riker hands? yeah well, I never they, made an like we're, we're spending too much time on this I'll, I'll move on <laughs> suffice to say I like I like their fits I no, like their fits but I see Ricardo's they have a lot of jackets like a lot of them are wearing yeah like, these, exactly like, it's jackets sport, yeah like, sport jackets, jackets <laughs> everybody's wearing sports jackets like, well ever cool since Ricard started jackets. the trend they were like we can well, have yeah, jackets looks cooler that way yeah, yeah I, think, I think the wardrobe department was like we're allowed to Jim do jackets Lee was right oh give shit give everyone jackets yeah give Rogue a jacket give Wonder Woman a jacket she looks better everybody a jacket <laughs> that's true. That's true. Also, you could store things in like inside pocket. You know. Yeah. Give like, people pockets so that they can phasers, actually hold their wallets. <laughs> knives. Yeah. Or uh, else you're stuck with cargo shorts like me. Yeah. <laughs> we watched the Masterpiece Society, uh, which you know, I'm kind of surprised how. Because I, I just was curious. I looked up like modern discussion of it, and uh-huh. there isn't that much of it, despite the fact that this is clearly um, a society based on eugenics. And like, yeah. are we are we really kind of just ignoring that? Or, or <laughs> like, uh, well, we are not. So we'll be the we'll be the. You first. know what? I think I will be the person of this group who's willing to. Oh, oh wow! Yeah. Mm, okay. Well, or, or at least the closest to willing to. I don't recoil immediately from the society as as quickly as you do. Really? Well, that's uh, that's fascinating, mm, Dan. Mm. It to me, it's not. <laughs> that sounds like we all changed our opinion. <laughs> and we're all like, mm. it, to me, it's similar to remember when up the long ladder with the Irish, and then they discovered their sister planet or sister colony, and they were like, "Well, our colony was too small, so we just cloned a bunch of people." Right? It feels like it's almost yeah. that again. Cloners? But, but Wait a like, minute, the Irish. Remember there was the one where it was like, oh, look at all these Irish people, and then we had to save their colony. The one with the then, barefoot, pe- the barefoot lady. Uh, yeah, right. yeah, and then they had to reintegrate the the older Irish, time, the old timey types of Irish people into what again? I forgot. There, how there that was worked. like, remember there was like a clone colony that was a second colony, and they, they kidnapped Jordy. I, I think you're making this up, dude. No, they kidnapped Jordy and one other person. Tim? No, no, they intentionally did not kidnap Jordy because he's black. They kidnapped Riker oh, and shit, Diana Moldar, dude. I think, and a Pulaski. So and again, they- Jordy's being skipped over. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're and then like, they were we like, don't want him. Oh, we'll we'll clone you because we need genetic diversity, and our clones are breaking <laughs> but not down. Him. Yeah, but not the black oh, guy. Though. I think I remember. I think I remember. <laughs> the guy was not the blind black guy. Uh, Jesus. But yeah, that was up the long ladder. Uh, and that also had a similar, not exactly the same, but a, a genetics based society. And the moral of that is that that was a bad idea. Don't do that. And the moral of this story is oh, no, we've messed up this perfect genetic society. And I'm like, that's super wrong. That's I don't know it. if that's how they, <laughs> I actually don't think that's how they play it though. Cause like do, Jordy's but- in there the whole time to be like, y'all are fucked up and yes, he Jordy, gets through to some people. Jordy some. says it at the, says that point of view at the end, but Picard gets the last word and Picard's last word is we've damaged this society beyond repair. And it's like, here's, here's what I got out of this episode. Like, <laughs> here's, here's yeah. what, here's the main thing I got out of this episode. Jordy. Is reformed, dude, because he didn't try to fuck this lady, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, I did note that. Like he was, right? he was fine working for, alongside very this lady. Very professional. Yeah, yeah. He's and, reformed, and yeah, like he was true. really close to her, like, and she was close to him, and and he didn't like, what well, he didn't start playing weird fucking. Music he didn't start saying your hair is come on, baby. so soft. Yeah, yeah. They even like collaborated well and made progress together, and he didn't like develop a horrible. Like, yeah, the yeah. Or he, yeah. Very you know what? Actually, I really do give Jordy, uh, yeah, you know, his flowers even, in this yeah. one. He he maintained professional. He even yeah. 
had a moment where he was like, oh, I'm sorry if I'm embarrassing you. I'll put these vis- this visor back on. Like he was yeah. A, yeah. aware you know what, of her guys? feelings. If I'm uh, making you uncomfortable. You know, yeah. is, is, is Jordy that bad that we're, we're like praising yeah. him for not being a piece of shit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jordy, but he has a bad hey, history Mar- though. Marks are improvement at least. Hey, I mean, uh, when like, you go to the holodeck and noting. you ma- you go to the holodeck and you make a whole simulation about like. Well, we don't know. We don't know. know. Sarah, we don't know if he, he immediately when this lady left or wherever she's yeah, at. Yeah, we don't know. Hey, yeah, yeah. He, but he, the improvement he is like, we don't see it anymore. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, we, we he, actually don't The improvement know. is he's password protected time. his files. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, sometimes he's, that's he's literally all the difference is and we would yeah. never know. Yeah. <laughs> well, the Masterpiece for so- masterpiece Society Master first puppets. Aired. The Master Puppets. <laughs> it's yeah. interesting. For two episodes in a row now, we've gotten into like a fairly like in-depth discussion about the episode before we even get to this segment. <laughs> We're just so excited. Well, I guess well, so. It first aired on February 10th, 1992. Damn. Yes. Let's do it Damn, around the sun. Damn, dude. This is a year, right, that, uh, this is a year that uh Reservoir Dogs came out. Oh. Uh, oh well, yeah. we'll get to that when we get to that, Ricardo. We're not there yet. <laughs> sorry, sorry. God fucking damn it. Anyway. <laughs> Top of the box office at this time, which was not Reservoir Dogs, was Medicine Man, starring Sean Connery. Oh, it was not very well liked. What? Oh, was it? It's a John That's John McKiernan. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, he directed it. He just it. got out of jail for wiretapping people, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Like now? <laughs> I think he just got out like a, the year or two ago. A year I think. ago. I think, really? I think he got work like immediately. He you mean like what? recently or in 91? Recently, recently. Like okay, a year okay. ago, like from the time I, of this I don't recording. think he's worked yeah. there. I, I think he's 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 going to start working. Oh, okay. I thought strike, he got work the, like right the strike, away. The yeah. strike hit. and I Get ready for Medicine Man 2, everybody. Maybe he'll come back to the Predator series. Yeah, maybe get done. Double Predator. Yeah. Predator 2. Double Predator. Nah, fuck y'all. Medicine Man 2. Um, <laughs> I missed this last week, but the Super Nintendo had just seen the release of its Super Scope peripheral. It oh, was that shoulder mounted novelty cannon, and it was packed <laughs> in with a title called Super Scope 6. It was just a collection of mini games, but there was also like Battle Clash and other yeah. things like that. You can look up those titles. Morph shoots a similar looking space bazooka that looks yeah, like Yeah, like a these scope. days, most people just know the Super Scope as that item in Smash that you can charge up the gun. Or shoot super fast lots of little pellets Mm. right right um on top of the billboard charts was right said fred with i'm too sexy oh yeah yeah dude yeah that's that's when that came on the scene pretty uh Um, pretty notable song there for my shirt right that one oh yeah me 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 maybe he says too sexy for my cat right maybe he's (laughs) Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how. To, I don't know how to sing. Yeah, Will it trigger right, it? Right. I don't know. Yeah, dude. No. You don't want to trigger people. Um, <laughs> yeah. Least of all the YouTube bots. <laughs> yeah, dude. Because then they'll, they'll they'll flag you. They're like, oh, this girl singing this song. Let's sue her. Um, and Rod yeah, Stewart will you see sound you. Way too much like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, exactly. Hard yeah. to tell the difference. So, following my miss of the the dissolution of the Soviet Union, I was able to find this little bit. On February 7th, the Maastricht Treaty was signed, which, oh. as an American, I totally knew the significance of beforehand. Shut up. <laughs> I don't it know was what a, that is. <laughs> it was a treaty that pretty much started the European Union. Oh, okay. Um, cool, cool. Yeah, Maybe it was signed London. by 12 countries at first, and they had to agree on some stuff and ratify it all, and it wouldn't officially like come into power until 1993. But the actual signing of the treaty is oh, a yeah. big deal and it happened on this day. All right. Now, on the date of airing, 2-10, uh, just as a quick wrap-up to last week's topics, Mike Tyson watch oh my concludes God, with... Uh, yeah, he was convicted of the rape charges officially on, okay. on the 10th. Um, shit, also on the night of, of airing. Dude. I'm glad he got that face tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, that, that that's a sentence itself. Didn't... Was Mad TV the one that always made fun of him? Was... was Everyone made fun of Mike. He was not the only one. Yeah, everyone made fun of Mike. Was it? I can't remember like if it was him or not. The Simpsons I'm made fun of him. Everybody like, did. Late night shows made fun of. <laughs> Who him. Everyone made fun you, of Mike. You, you try to find somebody that didn't make fun of him. Yeah, yeah basically, it was like <laughs> yeah. why he's so mad. It's why he's so mad yeah. and biting people's ears. He's just, and he I, hadn't I even just, done that yet. No, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think people were making fun of him before that. Mike Tyson's had so many different, like, <laughs> incarnations, you know? like Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Broadway, Mike Tyson, when he mm-hmm. performs in Broadway. 
Uh, what? We'll get to the girl from Future Ipanema, Shirt? Mike Tyson. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what? You can look that up. He's saying girl you, from Ipanema on are television. You, yeah. Are you yeah. talking serious yeah. right now? Yeah. yeah. Mystery yeah. solving Mike Tyson. My, yeah. Are you? I'm not. I'm not understanding um, this. I have to the, look into this. The, now. Ha- the Hangover trilogy, Mike Tyson. Yeah. Comedy, yeah. Mike Tyson. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, working a, a really shitty gig in Las Vegas for chump money, Mike Tyson. Yeah. yeah. And then like try to SSR sell Ultra Rare made ty- made Mike Tyson. Yeah. <laughs> Was he the face of some? Product or something? I don't know. If uh, like. Mike Tyson punch out. Mike Tyson. Yeah, <laughs> that was yeah. that was the face of the yeah. product. He literally was. Yeah, it's punched out. Mm. How old is he now? Is he sixty nine? I think. Yeah. Fuck. Shut up. Yeah. Really? Probably. <laughs> no. Not sure though. Anyway, I got one <laughs> yeah. last thing. What is it? Also on the night of airing on two ten, the Olympic speed skater known as Bonnie Blair won the very first gold medal for Team USA. Bonnie Blair. Albert- Bonnie the Blair. Singer? Oh, uh, he's fifty. Bonnie Blair. For Team USA at the Albertville Winter Games in France, or depending on which Picard you're dealing with, Albertville. Uh, Albert. Albert. <laughs> uh, or Albertville. Uh, that's you, our trip around the sun. I like to think in, a, in an alternate universe yeah. um, that Picard, the actual character uh, that actually lives in an alternate universe, mm-hmm. that he's old and he's retired and he's not doing the adventures in the Picard show. He's doing shitty fucking, like he, he became such a celebrity from being this famous captain yeah. that he's doing uh, uh, shitty commercials for his wine. Yeah. He's really drunk. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. he's, he's, like, he's doing the Orson Welles commercials. Yes. yes. Oh, the French. Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, you know, like he goes, ah, I'm French. Ah, uh, French. And do he's gotten like, really, really overweight. Do you <laughs> like uh, Robert wine? Then it's a California wine. Uh, 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 Chateau Picard. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Um, uh, he, he claimed in an interview he wasn't drunk. He was suffering from like side effects of a medication. And everyone was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> Maybe they were side effects from a medication combined with drinking. <laughs> the, That's actually were like, really likely, actually. Probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it will fuck you up. It will. Make no mistake. Yeah. It will I mean, fuck that's, you up That's good. the best way to have a good time. That's the best way to have a good time. <laughs> you take a little, little, you know, little pill, a little beer, and you feel good. <laughs> time of your life. Well, yeah. if you want to have a good time, but not have your ISP snoop on the good time that you're ha- having... Maybe you can get yourself a good VPN, like ExpressVPN. Because look, ExpressVPN is not only super fast, like the name suggests, it's also yeah. super secure. In more mm-hmm. ways than one. We always talk about the turkey, if you know what we're talking about. Hey, yeah, just look hey, up the hey, ExpressVPN we, we turkey. Have, we have <laughs> listeners in Turkey. It's true. We do. Shout out to, 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 to my people in Turkey. What's yeah. up, dude? Shout out uh, to Turkey. <laughs> let us know, like, what, what's, like, what's like a hip dish? Like, like if we went to Turkey... Mm-hmm. Where would be the first place you would take us to, to eat? Yeah, where should we eat dinner? Yeah, where Turkey? would we eat dinner? Yeah. And then in Istanbul, where yeah. should we eat? Well, no, 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 wherever, dude. Don't you yeah. don't 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 like. I want to uh, go to Turkey so us. bad. <laughs> um, but uh, is pigeon hold a dish we should eat? I don't know. Yes, it could be. Yeah, it could be. You know, I recently learned that like Turkish dr- um, I think coffee, uh, Turkish th- coffee. Like, there's some weird crossover. Like, there's a huge demographic of Spanish-speaking people who enjoy Turkish dramas, or vice versa. I forget. Oh, uh, oh, mm. my aunt loves Turkey Turkish dramas. Okay, oh. there you go. I, I, I so like Turkey. She she like actually traveled. Turkey. She traveled to Turkey because she is so obsessed with the Turkish dramas. Yo, wow. I got a coworker so they, who they wanted likes, to see all the places. To go to Turkey because of the, or like has you the visited dramas, Turkey. Right? I don't know if it's because yeah. of dramas, but like it, it's all part of the thing. Like yeah. she, she's into Turkey. I think yeah. it's like a similar like thing with like Korea and South Korea. Like yeah, everyone I think loves the like K dramas, and they are just like flooding, you know, like Seoul and like South Korea with like. Tourism Do you guys remember stuff. that BTS. that viral <laughs> meme dude, video dude. of the person who is like dying for a really long time? And he goes ah, and the girl keeps shooting him. Yes. And the music, and she goes. Oh, and he clearly like squeezes blood out of his stomach in slow motion. Yeah. I believe that's a Turkish yeah. movie. <laughs> yeah. I, I, oh, well, yeah. Okay. Turkish people, let us know if end is son, S O N. If that is end to you, then that's a Turkish movie. I, guess. <laughs> I, I, I have an idea for a really racist. Because I remember that was the end of that, that, uh, that video. Are you guys ready for my pitch? Okay. What's I'm that? ready. Uh, you know how there's a movie with C. Thomas Howell where he goes in, in blackface to a college 
It's called Soul Man. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. I only heard John C. Riley. <laughs> Dude, we have C. Thomas Howell do a sequel, and it's called Soul Man, <laughs> where he tries to get into a Korean uh, college. <laughs> Oh my God. It's just, he uses clear tape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So that's the only, that's the only uh, way to make a fucking We already sequel. have that movie. It's, it's called Breakfast at Tiffany's. Uh, well, yeah. yeah, dude. And it won an Oscar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we can't go any better than that. Yeah. That's like the, they already the, did it. It's the best. As good as it can be done. It's the first Asian movie to win an Oscar. <laughs> Express VPN. <laughs> <laughs> Express VPN. Uh, I can say great, that. It's a, <laughs> By the way, a VPN, VPN, a good name for a gang. <laughs> We're the VPNs. So. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I if would, you wa- I would trust them to if, get away with crime. If yeah. you want to, if you want to join the Express VPN gang, head on over to expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. And if you sign up for 12 months, they give you an extra three months for free. So the whole package becomes 49% off, which is a really good deal for a VPN of that quality. And I should just mention 30 day money back guarantee. So you can try it out for 30 days. And if you don't like it, get your money back. And also you're going to like it. Of, you're going to like it. It has a lot of good stuff going for, it. you know, we always talk about like, you know, lots of servers and lots of countries. It's located almost everywhere. You can think of all these devices actually worked at streaming services, but now they've also added new services like their password manager and also their threat detection system that makes sure that if any websites acting suspiciously, they can just block it preemptively. So you don't get fucked up. Oh, does a fire alarm good. go off? I thought it would go like warning, <laughs> warning, warning. <laughs> this website <laughs> is trying to fuck you. So, <laughs> 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 so again, expressvpn.com slash newbie star Trek. And if you sign up for 12 months, they'll give you three months for free. But for free, it must yeah. be good. Well, well, if you want to also get a nice wallet to go along with your VPN, you can head on over to Exter. Because you're going to be saving so much money. You'll have I so know. much cash I know. to put you... in your new wallet. I know. Oh, my God. If you want and that wallet. And let Marvin to... tell you about that wallet right now. <laughs> tell me about it. Well, it's funny. We went to, uh, we, we were like going to random locations to like, this is weird, but to like help get stuff for a wedding. We were getting, we we're helping someone out with the wedding and I kept having to bust out my wallet. And every time I did on this one day, for some reason, everyone just kept going, whoa, what was that? And they were like, how did you do that? I was like, oh, it's this, this, this wallet. And it's the extra wallet I carry. It's the parliament wallet. Like, wow. Yeah. Was that some kind of fucking magic trick? <laughs> Jesus hey, yo, Christ, you got like a that? promo code for that? <laughs> like, wow. So, what you the know, fuck is that? It's a, it's a nice, super slim High quality wallet made out of many different types of materials. You can get a leather one or you can get a carbon fiber one or an aluminum one. Gold one. You can get a gold one or you can even get one with Messi's logo on it. If you're into Messi, the football player, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or if you're but, just into the word Messi and it just yeah. you know happens to be up your alley. Like if that, that just resonates with you, then go for it, you know, but you can head on over to shop.exter.com slash newbie, or just use the offer code newbie when you check out at extra.com. That's E-K-S-T-E-R.com. And it adds an additional 25% off any order site wide. So that means it'll stack with any ongoing sales. So if you had a 15% off sale already and you added the extra code that we are giving you for newbie, that makes it a total savings of 40%. That's crazy. It all stacks. It's crazy. And they got a lot of other stuff other than wallets. They have like backpacks and weekend bags and keychains and money clips and tool cards, all this stuff. And yeah. free shipping on any order of $50 or more, free returns within 100 days of receiving your order, 12-month warranty on at least 12-month warranty on all products because their new grid backpack and other stuff like that actually has a two-year warranty, and free tool card with any order above $125. Not bad. So if you want to check it out, head on over to shop.exter.com slash newbie or use offer code newbie when you check out at exter.com for an up to an additional 25% off any order site wide. All right. Denise, Denise, you got to ease us in. Ease us in. Ricardo, could you please tell us what happened in this episode? Me? Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, you. Let me tell you guys, dude. They travel this planet and they meet this guy that's dressed like Devo. Um, <laughs> He kind of um, reminded me of, is it David Byrne? David yes, Dasmalkian. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> or or Dasmalkian. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's but who he, he was, reminded me of. 
but he was the previous actor in uh, the enemy. Remember the episode where Jordy was trapped on a planet with the Romulan and they had to help each other out. Uh, was, I don't remember that at all. Oh, <laughs> well, there was an episode where Jordy was trapped on this lightning planet. Are you and, spoiling stuff? No, no, this is a, this is earlier. It was like season three or two. I think. Oh wow! And then yeah, he uh, looks like David Byrne mixed with David Mousemalkin. Yeah, yeah, David yeah. Dustmalkin. Yeah. Well, he played the Romulan who was stuck with Jordy. So right. they, they invited him back, but they Wait, apparently this were... guy. You're talking about the guy who's like the the purest guy on the planet. Yeah, yeah. He was the he was the, he was purists, the Romulan. They're all purists, dude. So they just reuse actors. I mean, I know they do. Because oh yeah, they, they brought reuse actors Roe all back, the time. But like yeah. he was, aren't, isn't that kind of weird? You're like that guy was a Romulan. Like, well, well I think it's, I remember they, this was during a time when the internet wasn't around and people couldn't just look up people immediately and be like, oh yeah, that's fucking him. I feel like yeah. that's, <laughs> images and everything. The yeah. illusion is broken. You know, well, now, no. <laughs> back then you'd be like, "Is that? Did I see it? Ah, whatever. I never. I'll never see that episode again." <laughs> but then they did do that with the this row character. They yeah, Michelle her, Forbes came back. They gave yeah. her Roe. like a permanent yeah. role when she was like that guy's daughter back then. And then yeah, like, yeah, then hey, she played a different we can't role judge, dude. Like, okay, <laughs> so like, they, they regretted role. bringing him back though. They apparently Who? Who? Uh, the director and the right everyone apparently Why? they, they did really did not like his performance. <laughs> I I didn't like the it. southern guy? Uh, the this um the, the the president guy in this episode. The, the Pierce. Oh, oh, Aaron Carter. Oh, it was Carter. fairly one note. Yeah, yeah. He's they they said he gave a bad performance and that he kind of ruined the episode. <laughs> so well, uh, he's. Just I mean, weird. I don't know if he ruins the episode. Wait, you mean the love interest guy? The love interest guy. Aaron Carter. Yeah. Aaron Carter. Yeah. Aaron yeah. Carter. Yes, the yeah. innocent looking guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. So let me tell you about this fucking episode, dude. So it opens up and some fucking thing some rock or some bull some bullshit is about to like pass near a planet and it's gonna fuck up the planet and they're like well no one lives here and then they're like oh my god someone does live here what the <laughs> fuck, dude and just because they're fucking human forms. looking they're like oh we gotta save them dude yeah but to be honest we don't need to save everybody we don't no. need to save everybody we established Especially if that. they don't want to be saved. I mean, we established well, that with once the pandemic. They wanted to be saved once they were told that they would meet certain death if they didn't let go of their fundamental principles. Some of them, yeah, and, and they kept saying, them. they kept saying, "It's my body. I will not wear a mask." But yeah, and then, <laughs> well, but then the dilemma, the dilemma then came from there. It's like, well, we yeah. now have people who want to leave, and then we have we to take respond. Those people, and that's yeah. that. I would right. be like, good luck, everyone else. Yeah, so like, yeah, they clearly not, weren't all yeah. wanting to die. L l let me say this. I stand on the side of like, if you want to leave, you leave, dude. Fuck whoever. Like, oh, yeah. The, 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 oh, yeah. The society will collapse. That's your fault, dude. Don't be yeah. the last guy standing, Aaron Carter. Also, just like the science of that actually makes zero sense. There's thousands of I people know, here. Dude. It makes actually no sense. 23 well, people it leaving. Would enlighten, it would enlighten people. I think more like their pure forms- no, would be you're no longer to. because you would also you would be start to be interested in, in diversifying like it's it's like when people uh, first started listening to Elvis and they're like you can't show this to people dude they're gonna fucking get all horned up dude <laughs> and they were right dude people were <laughs> watching Elvis fucking gyrate well, and they were getting horned up some people are like you know I don't want to be with this here you know I'm attracted to yeah. to this I'm attracted to something a little different he's yeah, attracted to yeah. half betazoid or whatever he's like I yeah. don't know I don't know why I feel this way, but I'm not attracted to those all, other ladies. All the, you know? all the ladies, all the ladies on this planet are like, we're tired of average size dicks here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we want, uh, whether the smaller or bigger, let's just give us or two, variety, dude. Or multiple, yeah. Yeah. you know? We, we want need either we want DDE more. or SDE. Like, yeah. we want well, something the, different. The issue or was multiple. a lack yeah. of variety. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so the issue is like, you know, it's like when you, when the English got introduced to spices, you know, spices, varieties yeah, they, of spices. They, they're still struggling. Like, you guys, like, all, all of them are still struggling. Struggling. They're like, they're like, oh fuck my stomach, dude. And it's like, guys, you've had like, you're over, like, wait, we can't yeah, you've seasoning. Had, you've had hundreds of years to get used to this, dude. How are we? How are we still like? Oh, it's too fucking spicy. <laughs> so, I mean, so I many, really do. Yes, yeah, variety is I, the spice of life. You I know? don't understand, dude, how people are still like. Oh, too many spices. Like, bro. Black pepper is too spicy. Yeah. <laughs> Black pepper is yeah. not spicy. I'm oh. going to say someone, that again. Black pepper is not spicy. Someone, an acquaintance of mine, <laughs> c confess that their family, their taco night uh, oh no. Oh no. is boiled chicken. Oh. Unseasoned <laughs> boiled chicken. And here's the thing about me, dude. Is it, wait, just just to wait, quickly wait, interrupt first, you. Yeah, go that, ahead. That's also a Korean thing. So. God damn it. Okay, okay. Here, here, let, me, let, me tell you, let me tell you this. Don't ever 
Give me ammunition. And if you have a secret <laughs> that you don't want me exploiting, don't ever tell me a secret, dude. Don't ever. tell me. Because I will use it against you uh, <laughs> to make fun of you. Uh, as, as Boil well as, a bunch of salt and ginger. You're fine. Yeah. And then as throw well the, as if I tell you a secret, away and you don't if I tell you a secret, I expect you to make fun of me because, <laughs> oh, I don't know my role biological father. Wah. Um, <laughs> use it against me. Use it against me. I've seen, I have seen Ricardo use that <laughs> he's, actual he's thing real. of he's someone real, who man. doesn't have a father <laughs> against him. I've seen this <laughs> oh yeah. at work. So imagine what happens in private. <laughs> yeah. Oh um, my gosh. That's horrible. That's Boiled chicken? Gotta, look it, look it. So oh, so this person can like confide <laughs> in us that their parents when they were growing up mm. would make like like a hey, fun Mexican taco night would be <laughs> Tortillas mm-hmm. with boiled chicken yeah. on top, unseasoned. Oh, Not even braised, just, just boiled. Just, just cheese, like shredded cheese. Oh my God. No salsa, no nothing. No, they, and no, no, and no Not they even like slices taco? of avocado. Nothing, or, nothing, nothing. Oh nothing. I, I just told you the goddamn ingredients, Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> Don't add extra ingredients. I told you the ingredients. <laughs> and ever since then, I'm in a text chain with them. And every time, every time they chime in, mm-hmm. uh, I make a boiled chicken joke. <laughs> every single fucking time. Oh my God. This it reminded guy. me of this Facebook group titled like white people making Mexican food. <laughs> and it's just pictures of some of the saddest stuff you've ever seen. <laughs> there's a, there's a, this is, this ties back into Star Trek a bit. There is a, uh, Alton Brown used to have a podcast and, uh, in one of his podcasts, he actually had Kirk on, uh, what's his fucking name? Uh, William Shatner. Kirk, William Kirk Shatner. Cobain. He cl- killed himself. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> I think Corny Cox. To, to, uh, to be honest, who benefit most of that death, dude? I'll tell you who. Dave Grohl. Dave oh. Grohl killed Kurt Cobain. Oh my Allegedly, God. is oh what my I'm God. going with. You heard it but here Dave, first. But Dave Grohl's such a nice guy. Why would, yeah, who, that's who the front. Who do, you, who, who do you think benefited the most? Oh, oh the coincidence <laughs> that a year after he kills himself, an album releases. <laughs> what do you think? You, you think he, he made a whole album in a year, dude? Yeah. That and fucker, do you, and do you think Dave would go out and, and grill and barbecue a bunch of meat for people for free if he didn't have something he was feeling guilty about? <laughs> exactly, Oh, that's dude. so, that's exactly. exactly. Yeah, why is he giving back? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. What yeah, the fuck dude. is that about? You know, that's a, a good nice point, person. Dan. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, dude. I'm telling He's you guys. He's repenting for something. Yeah, He's yeah. repenting. <laughs> This guy, Dave Grohl, is a piece of shit, dude. I said it here. I said it once. And I'll oh say it again, God. dude. Um, well, listen, listen. There was in this in this podcast. Uh, Alton Brown was making William Shatner uh, biscuits and gravy, and Alton Brown was like, "Well, I'm gonna spice it up. Instead of just making regular sawmill gravy, I'm gonna put some like pepper flakes in this oh. and make it spicy." And Alton Brown was like, "Oh yeah, this is tasty. This is great." And then William Shatner, he's like, "Oh, oh, oh my God." Oh. <laughs> Oh, he's no. like, he's like, uh, have you guys, have you guys seen Idris Elba on uh, Hot Hot One? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, he's like, oh, what the fuck? He's like, he's like I'm yeah. dying. There's some chili flakes. Come on. Yeah, Billy Shatner was like, oh, I didn't know William Shatner oh. was that crunchy. Is he that crunchy? Wait, did you oh. say black pepper or red chili flakes? Red chili flake. So okay, you put okay, a little because okay. sawmill sawmill gravy normally uses black pepper, right? But Alan Brown was like, "Well, I, I've been liking to eat spicier as I've gotten older, so I'm gonna put some red pepper flake <laughs> in it instead." And then William Shatner was like, "Oh, <laughs> hey, you know what? Props to William Shatner's like taste buds. They did not die in his age." <laughs> oh my god. Um, uh, anyway, Kirk Cobain. Uh, no. I'm kidding. Uh, so, <laughs> So, so these people, Kirk Aaron, Cobain tied twice when that pan movie came out. I know it did. <laughs> so, so, so fucking these group of people, they get hailed and this guy that looks like his name is Aaron Carter. And he's like, he's like, Hey, what's up, dude? I, I, I wasn't even going to answer the phone, dude. But like, right. he says, was like but then you said we were going to yeah. die. So, yeah. so I decided to pick up Yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's like, I was sitting so at yeah. my table listening. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's With this guy new, in the background watching me really he's grumpily. Got, he's <laughs> got that. Um, I know it's he's he's on a weird like FaceTime. He's sitting down. Everybody's standing. Up. It's really weird. Yeah, there's like a bustle of activity behind him. Yeah, <laughs> they're all they're all like, oh, we got to make another perfect person. Um, <laughs> and so these people are like, so what's the deal? Tell us about this fucking thing, this comet, or fucking Haley's comet. What, what's com- I don't even know what the fuck is going towards. So them, basically, it's like a, a thing that's going to cause like earthquakes. Yeah, it's a piece of a star. 
It's yeah. basically so massive and so dense and heavy that just passing a planet will cause massive seismic activity. And like, okay. I, I don't and believe it their, for sure. Break sure. their little biodome thing yeah. and then they'll all yeah. die. And, and they're like, they're like, dude, he's like, hey, Picard, like, we don't want anything. And like, we're cool, dude. And he's like, what do you mean? He's like, we got a beautiful biodome over here. Polly Shore and one of the Baldwin brothers built it. <laughs> and it's biodiverse. Uh, not really. Everything's perfect here. We grow babies to be perfect. We're all, you know. We throw out the rest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we throw out the rest. Perfect. I mean, that's implied. It's, yeah. it's implied. Yeah. yeah. So. And he's like, everyone's cool here, dude. Perfect vision. No need for glasses. Average size dicks. Uh, and we're all cool over here. And he's like, yeah, yeah. But like, you guys are probably going to die. And he's like, dude, we could withstand a seven point something earthquake. And he's like, dude, yeah. these are going to be bigger, dude. Big ass earthquake, dude. Yeah. Big dick mm -hmm. energy earthquake. Richter had no idea about these yeah, earthquakes, yeah. dude. Andy Richter is fucking an idiot, dude. <laughs> and and he's like, oh, fuck. All right. Well, well, like no one comes in or out. So like, I don't know what you're going to do. And he's like, oh, no. He's like, but I'll, I'll meet with you if you want. He finally like agrees to meet with him. Mm -hmm. And then fucking Picard's like, oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll roll in. And he's like, no, like the, we're in a biodome, bro. You can't get in here. And he's like, you don't worry about that. Also, gonna... just quickly, it's really stupid that they try to build this perfect society on like a deadly planet. Yeah. They, yeah. they could not find just a regular planet. There's yeah. M-class planets fucking everywhere. It's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like if, if, if this was- or maybe that was part of the thing. It was like, we need to make the rest of the planet yeah. so inhospitable that people have to stay in this closed society. And they're That's too scared true, to smart, even try yeah. to leave. They're all I slaves. I think that could yeah. be part of it. They're all prisoners. Yeah. This, I mean, that controlled. could have been part of the original design. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is, right. Imagine if this, if this was in the Star Wars universe, it'd be like Mustafar. That they're like, oh, this look at this perfect fucking paradise. Yeah, but don't yeah. go outside because there's volcanoes. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a volcanic planet. On it, so you'll yeah. be safe there. <laughs> <laughs> no one will want to mess with you there. Yeah. So these ghouls are like, "I oh, will come over then," and then and then they're like, "Oh my god, dude!" They 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 they're acting like when I what? Oh my cat's fucking poking me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's like they they were acting like when I would roll up to like Mexico when I was a kid. And like all my cousins would be like, "What the fuck are you wearing, dude?" <laughs> and he's like, "I'm like, these are like Reeboks. They're pumps. You put <laughs> you, you pump the little thing, and it just fills up your shoe." They're like, "What the fuck? Uh, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck? Like, is technology your shoe has air yeah. in it. Yeah, what are you guys doing over there in the U.S., dude? I'm like, well, not." Doing anything good. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Not doing anything good. Reading? Oh, yeah. I'm shit at reading. I'm shit at everything. But I do have these cool shoes. Uh, we're innovative when it comes to They're shoes. They're forcing me to eat McDonald's. but <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I eat McDonald's on a daily basis. Our but... Mexican food is being slowly replaced by Taco Bell. Yeah. And we're, that we're piece of shit, it. Del Taco. <laughs> <laughs> um but anyway so these dudes show up and they're like oh fuck you just kind of fucking appeared out of nowhere dude you guys are fucking weird ass ghosts um <laughs> and so they're like hey as you could see like we're gonna be cool dude and he's like no you're not gonna be cool and then they're like oh we'll talk to our science engineer like that hot lady right there uh, she looks like maria bamford to me who's oh, yeah, a little bit who's yeah bamford? Little, maria bamford maria bamford she's a comedian yeah, dude yeah. everybody in this fucking planet looks like they're in a band <laughs> everybody <laughs> an 80s can, band yeah yeah yeah, yeah. like Everybody, everybody, the kids, everybody, Euro they're all 80s wearing band. bright colors. Yeah. And I, I do like the, like I said, they look like they're from the 80s, but I love the get-ups, dude. They're very colorful. <laughs> mm. uh, and then the, they're like, and hey, talk first. to our science lady. And the yeah. science lady's like, well, it wouldn't hurt to like, if they helped us like fortify like whatever the defenses we do have. Mm -hmm. well, your cat's eating something behind you. I don't know if they're supposed to be. but That's uh, fine. Uh, <laughs> it's cinnamon. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> and Just cinnamon. So, yeah. Okay. And um, just wanted to raise the alarm in case um, uh, cats can eat anything <laughs> except mustard. Uh, <laughs> so uh, they're like, "Hey!" And then everyone's looking at Jordy like, "What the fuck is this? Ro is this a robot man?" And they're like, "No, no, no, no! no. He just he just wears these predator goggles." Though. Please don't stare at him. Really? I don't know. I felt like they looked at him like. You know, like they all oh, stare at him. This yeah, this guy. Well, they, like he clearly has a disability yeah, of some yeah, kind, they, but they're too weirded out to be yeah. like talk they're like, about it. They're, they're like, like something's guys, weird with him. You guys didn't put him out of his misery. <laughs> yeah, they're, yeah, they're all thinking like he should be dead. Yeah, like, oh, oh, wow. he's still alive. Yeah, that's, someone's that's like hard. dead oh. man walking, and they have a <laughs> they have like weird art, dude. Like very like modern yeah. art, fucking pieces yeah. around them. Yeah, and yeah. dude, this guy Aaron Carter, fucking his dress sharp as shit. 
yeah. time traveling sharp sharpness here. Uh, this suit is pretty dope, dude. I would rock that. Uh, suit. He, he, I like I, it. he has lots of good suits in general the throughout the yeah. episode. Yeah. I like and the immediately, orange suit, immediately, suit. Uh, yeah. Deanna. Yeah. Uh, immediately, Deanna's like horned up, dude. She's oh, yeah, like, I'm do. into this dude. The suits are yeah, fucking that part dope. I don't like. Uh, why not? That she immediately it's, was. It's really to contrived to me. Uh, I, 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 agree. I think she did a good job of, of like selling it. Like, I think so. I mean, I, I it was kind of I, like she had a paper, crush on him. It wasn't paper, like, she... like I'm okay with her developing a crush. I just it felt like it happened very quickly. I think yeah, I but, think this is also what the the writers and the director and showrunners were disappointed by is that they thought she had zero chemistry with this guy, and uh, that was sort of the crux of the guys, episode. I agree guys. with that. There is uh, no uh, chemistry. Yeah, okay. Okay. okay, I don't agree with that. Oh, um, all right, it, all right. if if. If this was Riker and any other lady, we'd be fine. Remember when when the, when this when Riker is gonna fuck that lady that was, that had like like chicken and he had yeah, a wine dry, bottle, ch- dry, yeah, chicken. Dry chicken. <laughs> She's like, well, I have chicken. You could bring some wine. And then she got but that's, zapped. That's she got because dusted. it's Jonathan Frakes. He's I know, but really but here's charming. Here's the thing, because she's because yeah. he's a man, dude. You're sexist, bro. No, no, no it's because it's Jonathan I'm Frakes. I'm totally okay Deanna with. Deanna Troy can be a it's whore. Totally fine. It's her. It's her. <laughs> no, no, no. It's that's not what. That's not the again. That's not the part I'm. I have a problem with. I'm saying is the actor, the Aaron Cole, Aaron Carter, Carter. dude. He yeah. has no chemistry with her. He just, dude, is, he's like a wet paper, like sack. Well, Cause he's average. He's average, dude. He's average. You uh, gotta, you gotta go yeah. back to the fact. I mean, these, these yeah. aren't charming people. They're average. Everything's, <laughs> they're all middle of the they're, road. <laughs> they're all C students. See what I mean? Uh, no, I can, they've all I been perfectly engineered that. to be, you know, the, the, the best, whatever yeah. they are. I mean, to be I honest, can, I can agree that this like, is a planet of boiled is, chickens. Dude. This There's is, no fucking spice, dude. I can agree that, you know, they don't have any chemistry, but I think it's totally fine for Deanna to see a hot guy and be like, oh, he's hot. I yeah, and he's just him. sharp. And like, you know? that's that, you know, and I yeah. don't have a desire to have like a life partner or anything, yep. but but she's fuck him. the fact that she gets so torn up implies well, requires she's just no, doing no, it on the job no I mean, yeah she's yeah she, on the she, job. That was she, and he is like oh my god no, like i think i part- love you and it's like what yeah that, that, he caught feelings funny. that's on yeah, him dude. though but i don't that's, see any of that between them and, like and in she's the like and, and he's that, like and he, to be honest i think i think he's he, deep down he's like i seen you naked and you have you don't have perfect tits one's better than the other <laughs> and and that's I, I i hate that i'm falling in love with this because i like i like perfect average Mm-hmm. You know, and he 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 hates that about himself, dude. That he fell in love <laughs> with with a normie. You know what I mean? And and That's she basically. hates it because she's like, ah, am I becoming Jordy? Just fucking fucking anything and being all <laughs> aggressive. And I think what bothered her the most was that she wasn't professional, maybe. Yeah, you know I mean? of course. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah I that's, that's what she gets turned up fair. about later. Yeah. But like, she the thing shouldn't that have done rent- that. I think that's fair. I think she should have done it. Like, everywhere fucking yeah. record goes, he's that's fucking true. people, dude. I guess there is a double standard Also, there. She, she kept claiming, oh, I'm supposed to always maintain a professional distance. She never maintains a professional distance no, with any no, of her clients. Never. That's true. Right, yeah, she's right. bad like, at her job, it, There's too. a lot of this stuff that felt inconsistent. Yeah. Um, and the other thing that, like, the, the thing that made me realize, like, oh, yeah, this isn't working is when she started saying, like, oh, he's, he's charming and everything an administrator should be. And it's like, is he? Yeah, that, that's exactly what I mean. Like he he doesn't play it as charming. When they start he plays telling as, you about what he's supposed to be, and you don't feel it, it's like, oh, okay, he, never mind. He literally reminds me of the neutral aliens from Futurama, where they're like, I have no strong feelings one way or the other. Like that's this performance. Um, but we're missing <laughs> one very big thing: is he is part of a size a society that is, you know a purist society that's very problematic. We didn't skip it. We and talked about it in the beginning. That's, no, that's eugenics. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. disturbing. That's and Deanna should not be into that at all in uh, any way, shape, or form. I think that, that's she's her villain. Let me tell you why I'm not like, go let ahead, me tell go you ahead. why I'm not super against, like uh, why I don't recoil like so quickly. Like in the end, yes, eugenics bad. Let, let's yeah. put that straight. But <laughs> like what they say about like their society that is appealing is like, hey, imagine a world where you never, f- you never wonder about who the hell you're supposed to be. Um, mm-hmm. Like without uncertainty in your life or without ever having the feeling that you ended up doing something you, you know, you, you weren't meant to be doing. Or like imagine if your purpose in life was clear and defined and you had and you were fine with that. You know, it's not very human, yeah. but it sounds sometimes kind of nice for the directionless. 
Yeah, I, but I then can, they tie I can see it, what you're saying there. The problem is they yeah. tie it with genetics. They don't tie it in with this person is born and after they were born, we can figure out what's good for them in well, society. Yeah, like the, the thing they that breed ends up- them for specific roles, which is oogie you know like like he is bred to be an administrator he is bred to be a traditionalist she is he, bred he, to be he's a scientist bred to make bread all they did was <laughs> all they did was domesticate humans yeah yes. that's true i mean they they did breed chihuahuas to be little toy dogs you know yeah if 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 we were yeah, in dogs florida, are great if, if we, we were love in florida them. dogs, we love so dogs. dogs we are definitely not dogs. breeds of dog are definitely not riddled with disease <laughs> if, oh definitely not if, <laughs> Due to oh yeah, yes. humans are are paragons of diseaseless <laughs> creatures that you know I mean, are always healthy. But even if you do go by the like, okay, they were bred to be leaders, or it's in their DNA. Like, I don't. It doesn't work that way. That that's not how it. That's not yeah, apparently. That's, not, that's an imperfect science. That's not scientific. Yeah, the that's writer of this episode works. showed it to his, uh, <laughs> I think, genetics professor because he went to college yeah. and he had a class in genetics. And his professor said he liked the story, but his science was stupid and completely wrong. No, so, it's yeah. completely wrong. I think, like, I think it's even demonstrated. Breeding doesn't make a leader. Like, well, yeah, you know, and I feel like, like it's even demonstrated dumb. in the episode just by the fact, like, as soon as anyone in the society even got an inkling that yeah, there was yeah. something else out there, they're like, oh, fuck. Like, yeah, yeah, let's yeah. do that. Yeah, and it felt like it felt like the little kid was like, "Oh, I fucking hate reading. I want to party. That's all I want to do." And, and, you know, and, I mean, I think you can do that for like, okay, if you want like red hair or like certain physical features, which we already do that. No, nah, right? dude, gingers are not cool, dude. Like that's that's you know, if you go to like any local sperm bank, they have. I'm kidding. Complete, I apologize to all the gingers. They have complete <laughs> profiles on like, okay, your your sperm donor is over six foot tall. I do right? find it your odd that- Your sperm donor you, you, had blue yeah. eyes. Your sperm yeah. donor has blonde hair. Yeah, that you much know, is already like, happening. You get to yeah. pick that so that you can- more than less guarantee that your child well, will be a certain well, height, have a certain hair color, have a certain whatever. Okay, here's a question right now. If you- Will they allow you to donate sperm if you're blind? No. <laughs> oh, why not? Dude? I don't think so. No, they no. Mm. So, 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 so I don't what think if, they what would. If, what, wait, what if your other senses are? I heightened? feel like that's a very important question right now. I think. That that is I think. Important. I think I for most. I, would think I think no. for most sperm banks, the minimum requirements are you need to be of a certain height. Yeah. You can't have a family history no of, of genetic disorders. Right. Yeah. And you can't. You, can, you, you have, have to have, have a, a degree. You have, have to have a college degree. What What if you're Drake though? Uh, well, you, you're fucked because Drake doesn't have a college degree. So, <laughs> well, it's still though. No. Do you know? Do you know Drake puts uh puts uh, hot, hot sauce, sauce yeah. probably jalapeno, probably yeah, uh, tapatio yeah. in his in condoms. his condoms in his used condoms. Yeah, oh that way God. if the girl tries to put it, you know, inside of her, she yeah. In fact, actually, one of the girls that he slept they with, tried, oh yeah, they yeah, tried, yeah. and she had a she had to go to the hospital. Oh she, uh, she tried she to take the, her, the condom her, out of the yeah. trash and, and put pregnant the, herself. Yeah, and she yeah, got, this is for real. Yeah, she got a tapatio vagina, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Don't bring tapatio into that. Yeah, yeah. dude. Uh, it's probably Tabasco, to be honest. So I mean, uh, it's if, like he carries, if he carries this. around everywhere, yeah. it's got to be Tabasco. A little tiny bottle. <laughs> yeah. Tapatio is for pure love. Yeah, dude. I mean, we already do a level of this for for physical attributes, right? Not, not even physical, but we do this for like when people go to. IVF, they can choose now if they want yeah. a boy or a girl. So yes, that's true. Why? Yeah. why uh, we're and doing they, this already. They, they, yeah, they they check them for any potential like genetic issues or upcoming yeah. yeah stuff, and they do all sorts of. But like, th but there are ethical discussions around that stuff. They go, how far is too much? Is it already too much? You know, where we, is the line drawn? I'll tell you when it's too far. I'll tell you when we get there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, there are certain people's sperm who are more selected in a sperm bank than others. You know? yes. what, what are you like, What are you talking about? Fast, fast sperm? Well, they're they're because they make like anonymous certain, profiles certain of desirable, Michael Phelps, Michael certain sperm? desirable traits that are picked on more than other. Like, if I have a menu in front of me of men's sperm, I, you know, there is a profile that is our society has deemed more important, like selective, you know. I mean, but that's not in everything, dude. Like if I go, yeah, if I have yeah, a mini in front of me and there's a T-bone steak and I'm not paying for it, I'm going to get the fucking T-bone steak, dude. <laughs> um, yeah. It, it just goes to say that like, yeah, I guess maybe there is this desire to constantly pick the best and the greatest for your 
I guess, genetic offspring adventures. But let's not forget about the the beauty of variation. And, but also, it's not know? even, I, I would argue, it's not even a desire to choose the best. It's just a desire. And desires aren't actually about choosing the best. Desire is about just choosing about pleasure. what you prefer. Well, it's about oh, choosing the what you um, think is best, right? That's that's right. what I mean. Which I, I think don't is, mean that it's objectively the best. It's what you think is the best. If which you're is, a person, well, you, you well, think it can't be, you might it, it, think well, some of the blonde decisions, hair and blue eyes is the best looking. Yeah, like human. when when if whenever you invoke your parental like right as a parent, like this is my child and now raise it how I want. Can that extend to the point where this is my child and now choose what traits I want? Yeah, of course they do already do. And also, like how many times does someone they? show you a baby picture and they're like, "This is the perfect little cutest bundle of joy ever." And yeah, but really, here, my here, argument here, is, should yeah. they like just because they are doing like I am? I am the ma- I am the the fucking. Uh, Messiah uh, Bloom. Oh, sorry. Uh, what's his name? Uh, st- Should they? I mean, they already do. So. The guy in Jurassic Park who goes just Jeff because Goldblum, you can doesn't mean. Yeah, I am not. Yeah, the guy. but but just yeah, because you could doesn't point, mean you should. They already like, do. Though. I see your point, it's but like. This I mean, is it, it's very normal now. Um, should they? But your question about should they? Yeah, I think that's a very good question. I don't have the answer right. And not it's a it's a complicated one. Because like has, a lot of a, a lot of yeah. pro, like progressions in human society have happened because of accident. It has happened because of emergent circumstances and properties. Mm-hmm. It's not because if it's one per. I mean, the de- the episode itself de- actually has that as well, part Jordy, of one of its themes. Right, go- Jordy is the one where a disability actually ends up kind of solving the day. Right. Yeah, and the lady points out, I have such tunnel vision with my science that I couldn't even think of any other solutions because I had been told my entire life, this is the best way to do this, but it was just one way. And, and there's so many different we ways. We forget that necessity right. is off, often, necessity is what breeds like- Yeah, Jordy know, says that. Creativity. Creativity the, the Necessity is the where, mother of invention. Exactly. Like you know, and I that. very much, I very much agree with that. Like, I think, I, I feel like 90% of things that were are invented is because like someone needed it and they're like, I'm going to find a way to do this. Some exactly. of the most, mm-hmm. some mm-hmm. of the biggest technological 90. leaps in American 90, s- 80, history 60. happened during the <laughs> space race. Because we yeah. just needed to build shit that can get us to space, and a lot of that stuff ended up being useful for the rest of society. You know, so it's like here's 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 how it breaks down. Some stuff is because of a need. Some stuff is because of greed. Hey, I want to make more money on this thing. I'm going to invent something. And two is you want to get laid. Yeah. I want to make this because it's going to get me I laid. I actually think that's a really good pie chart. No, getting um, laid is really real. Good. That's called yeah, that's called yeah. sexual selection. Um, yeah. Darwin admitted towards the end of his life that. Natural selection's wrong. What's actually correct is sexual selection. Darwin Duck? <laughs> yes. Oh, meaning like how fuckable you are? Yeah, because he, he had this whole theory of natural According selection. According to right? who? Well, Dar- Darwin he had, Duck. He had this whole theory of natural selection, right? He's like, oh, uh, you, you know, nature breeds selection based on who survives the easiest, right? But then he kept saying these fucking peacocks. What oh, is the, the point the, of their I was going to say the peacocks. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. that's what made him realize it's and actually about sexual selection. Yeah. He kept, <laughs> he kept saying this, dude. I, this is, I think this is a quote. Like, and he kept saying, like, what's up with these peacocks? Their cocks are too small. <laughs> Well, there's there's a size of peas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, that's, that's true. I the mean, name. the peacocks yeah. are very beautiful. So anyway, so she's in love with this. God damn, we're never gonna get to this goddamn episode. <laughs> so it's uh, to be honest, this episode is so fucking bland, dude. It's just like the the people in this fucking I planet. I did not dude. like just this fucking episode. vanilla. I actually so, did like it. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, oh my God, what is well, going well, on? Well, they, so, so we can speed it up. I mean, basically, what happens is they yeah. try really, really hard to move the rock. Yeah, and it turns out that her plan to move the rock sucks. Yeah, but yeah. it turns out that Jordy's visor but, uses pulses, yeah. and because and, she, and, and they're working there, so she's working. This girl, yeah, is working on the Enterprise, and she's like, ah, she's like that kid in that meme where, she, where he's like. Ah, and he's looking around all fucking surprised. <laughs> like she's like, oh fuck, look, what do you got? What is this fucking shit? And yeah, she, yeah. and she's really kind of like learning because of the diversity in the goddamn fucking ship. Yeah. Um, you know, if it was up to the Supreme Court, they'd be like, everybody's fucking average, average sized dicks. Uh <laughs> but diversity 
really brings out all you know all these different inventions and all this stuff and she's like oh my god fuck this is cool and then uh what's her name joanna no deanna troy uh <laughs> she's she's down there dude and she's straight up just fucking this guy dude she, she yeah she's just getting she's just in love with the society she had and no getting- business down there dude no business yeah, yeah she, who I agree. was she counseling who what was, was she, counseling? she adding to yeah she had she wasn't using her powers at all yeah. She wasn't doing anything but trying to fuck people, dude. Which, look, Riker does this all the time. In fact, there's been planets where they, they go, Riker, do your thing, dude. Whip that dick out and go fucking fuck these ladies, yeah. dude. In that fucking planet, they, they send Riker out there to fuck, dude. Oh, yeah. They all go down to fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah but he's not crying in the turbo lift apologizing. I know. He's he's like, I did what I had to do, dude. I have 35 STDs, but I did what I had to do. He's yeah. like, I've improved my society with my dick. <laughs> yeah. He's uh, you know how many sonic showers I had to take to... <laughs> get all the shit off my dick. So anyway, so he's um, fucked aliens. He's oh, fucked yeah, non-humans. Dude. Yeah, he doesn't care, dude. He's it's like, so he's like, if me. it's got a hole, I don't think I, to, I, I don't, I would not, I would not fuck something non Riker personally. No, Riker, me. I wouldn't. Riker but. doesn't care. He, he, he's an equal. He, he's like they, they, they they're they're humanoid. Humanoid. I'm in, dude. I'm in. What yeah. if they're humanoid and have a human looking face approximately mm. and they speak English? He's no. like, he's, uh, he just, he <laughs> just says, funny. avoid the noid and I'm in. Um, <laughs> I'm too As long as there's some friction, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> what if it looks exactly like Pedro Pascal, but just one weird ridge on his forehead? Yeah. Uh, oh, no. perfect. We're in. Perfect. We're in there. We're in. <laughs> uh, so, so. Um, we'll they, see. Situational, I guess. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and then and then uh and then so they figure out how to do some things cuz Jordy takes off his visor. Uh, he, it's weird that he takes off his visor. He never takes it off, but he's like, "Oh, I haven't slept a week." It's like my eyes are tired. Yeah, <laughs> my <laughs> eyes are tired, dude. My I non-functional eyes are tired. You know what I was thinking about Jordy? <laughs> what? Do you why, think, why wouldn't they be? His lids still work. I guess but he you guys. <laughs> but he doesn't use them. Yeah. What do why you mean would, he doesn't? Why wouldn't the eyes just be always closed underneath his visor? He doesn't use his eyes. Cuz he needs to look eye. at what's in the fucking visor. <laughs> no, no. No, actually, no, the visor no. connects straight to his brain. It Literally, actually bypasses you're right, you're the right. eyes altogether. Yeah, come on, dude. <laughs> he, should, he should have like his like, eyes should uh, never be open. Actually, it's probably the, mu- it's probably well, the fact, muscle no, memory in fact, of having probably his eyes always open, open and yeah. always extra tired <laughs> and extra dry, um, dry yeah. eyes. Um, <laughs> dude, you know what, dude? Wow. Um, <laughs> he's probably he probably takes nuke that drug that you put in your oh, eyes. Oh yeah, Roll cup too. Oh, um, or red eye, bloody eye. Yeah, that would be bomb. Um, so so he takes off his visor and he's like, oh fuck, my eyes are so tired. And he and, and then she's like, oh, what the fuck's up with your eyes, dude? You got crazy eyes. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry, I insulted you with my fucking dead eyes. Uh, I'll like, put I'm them less away. Less than perfect. Yeah, and and then and then he's like, wait a minute, what? And he fucking solves the problem, dude. With his, pulses. With his visor. If yeah. we just pulse. Yeah, just gyrate <laughs> fucking the hips, dude. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Why doesn't Jordy? You know, they're always in peril, dude. They're always mm-hmm. like getting captured. They're always they're always in, in crazy fucking situations. Yeah. If I was Jordy, I'd go the visor and make it a little bigger. I'm gonna hide knives in my fucking visor. <laughs> Cause that way I'm captive. <laughs> fucking two fucking knives and, and fucking go Why the visor? <laughs> Cause, cause because no one's going to take the visor no one, away. No one's going to think. No one suspects you know. the visor, dude. No They're like, the blind guy's has knives in his visor? modify yeah, the right. visor to shoot Cyclops optic blasts? Too much technology. Too much technology. <laughs> they would know. They, he wouldn't He wouldn't uh, cut the mustard in, in like a metal detector, you know? <laughs> like he had, it's but the knives, knives will go through the metal detector. Well, the, they're, well it's they're part the, of the visor. It's part they're, of the visor. They're Wakandan. They're Wakandan. Um, <laughs> that that steel that doesn't pop up on the on the metal detectors, dude. Yeah, yeah. What is it called? Uh, vibranium. Uh, not vibranium. Yeah, vibranium. yeah, yeah. not yeah. vibranium. Yeah. And he could stab people. <laughs> Uh, just a thought. Uh, and so they figure it out and they're like, Hey, we figured it out, dude. We, we get this biodome, we get poly shore to intensify it. Mm-hmm. And then we, we, we move the thing away from the planet and it'll help. And then they do something fucking nuts, dude. This is so nuts. Oh, and then, and then I forgot there's a kid playing fucking the piano and he, plays that's, that's, just, that's when they make out. That's when just the two of us. Yeah. Diana and then like, out, yeah. and then <laughs> they, they make out and the dude's wearing a beautiful red suit now. Yes. Beautiful red suit. Yes. That's his that's his um, beautiful pumpkin jacket. Yeah. Like. It, it's pumpkin see it's pumpkin spice season, dude. Yeah. Um <laughs> uh, and so a couple of things. They're doing this thing where they're like they're like moving the, the stupid thing from the planet, but also like 
making their biodome stronger and they literally start losing life support and they keep going dude yes this is so yes. dangerous this is so yeah, dangerous yeah. they're 15 he, seconds away from losing life no and they're like <laughs> almost reckless. almost and i'm thinking like this is all another the kids fucking on the enterprise another, all yeah, the yeah. all the moms and the family members are like are we all gonna die no one told us like, this is why, happening why, <laughs> yeah, like, also like why not lose, go hey I'll, hey we're, lose air we're, in a minute? we're gonna we're gonna put you in like a like a sort of like a lifeboat thing in case something goes wrong we could just detach mm. put them all in the fucking put them all, in go the, into the go to the uh escape the women and children yeah, preemptively yeah. Yeah. yeah and at least the shuttles will have yeah. Like uh, life support, but, but also thing. this is something that comes up in sci-fi a lot, where they're like, life support's about to run out in fifteen seconds, right? Yeah. But if the life support stops, is all the air suddenly gone? Yeah, well, that was my yeah, thought. Kind of weird. Is that yeah. it? Just all of a sudden you don't have oxygen. Also, it gets really cold. When life support you systems death, go you down, it revokes the air. Yeah, it's just suddenly it's all just poison, and yeah, uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> the air just gets sucked it out of the, the room. air on purpose to make it unbreathable. Master gas. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then, and then the, 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 the almost lose, lose life support, but yeah. no one, here's the thing is like, there's a captain's log, right? Cause he's, yeah. he talks to it all the fucking time. Mm-hmm. Is no one fucking reading this? Uh, in 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 the fucking no the no. enterprise university what's it called no, <laughs> no they, starfleet they're just starfleet. Leave, he's, it's all for his because, own private diary because here's the thing dude why aren't there I I keep saying it every goddamn season dude why aren't there more investigations into this goddamn fucking piece of shit yeah. fucking ship dude that <laughs> they they keep fucking doing things wrong dude I love this show and then I hate it sometimes why yeah, aren't there more prime directive violations yeah there's a prime directive violation by one number two they almost they Endangered the life of everybody on the Enterprise. There should have been an internal affairs fucking investigation immediately. What do you mean you lost life support in some of the fucking like uh, <laughs> levels? He's like, yeah, for it was in like, like a, almost a every seconds. deck. By yeah, the end, like, it was almost like, every deck. He's it like, was it like, wasn't wow. all the decks, sir. And he's like, almost not the all the decks. You guys almost killed everybody. What are you <laughs> talking about? For who? For these. For these fucking purists. Yeah, these people, these well dressed like, motherfuckers, dude. They're humans. Yeah, that's anyway, why they're, they're they lives do it, that you gotta save because they're humans, I guess. <laughs> they, they they pull it off and then at the and last then, minute, and then they're second. like, Shirley doesn't want to go back. She she wants to stay, and she like she's like, oh, it didn't work. We're gonna die. We should leave. The dome is cracked. Somehow. <laughs> the dome is cracked. Let's, let's oh, run. I can see it. And then Jordy's like, well, How did she think that was gonna work? She's like, like Jordy's like, Dude, I have predator vision. Nah, bruh. There's no, there's no leaks, <laughs> dude. There's no yeah. micro crack. Shirley, what are you doing? Yeah, there's no, you you there's no. <laughs> There's no anal fissures here. Um, <laughs> and so he's like, what are you doing, Shirley? And then and then he's like, she's like, oh, I want to go with you guys. And then they tell everybody and then they're like, well, what do we do? Because if we don't let them come in, then, then we're kind of like assholes. And so. And they then, have a and big then, meeting. And the big meeting. And, and then we, I forgot. And then like Deanna tells the captain on the fucking elevator, like, hey, dude, I've been fucking this dude. And the captain should have been like, so what? Riker fucks all the time. That's <laughs> well, true. That's, that's none meeting, of our business, dude. <laughs> the meeting is where everyone time. is laid out as either heroes or villains. Because in the meeting, Worf immediately goes, yeah, they should go. Let them go. Yeah. They're allowed. They let, can do whatever they want. Go. And then Deanna's like, no, if they go, their their society will be ruined. And you're like, fuck, who they're cares? Like, right, who fuck cares, you. Dude? And then you're Beverly on the fuck goes, you list. <laughs> Beverly, you're also on the fuck you list. Yeah, yeah Beverly is like, Worf well, is yeah, fine. their society is so fragile that if just two people leave, this society will collapse. So she's also a villain. And then Picard yeah. becomes kind of a half villain because he goes, yeah. well, we should try to convince him to stay. And then, it's and like, then he does the half this? measure where he's like, well, okay, six months. And it's like, yeah. bitch, what the fuck? You want me to <laughs> suffer for six months? I love her reaction. She's like, fuck you. I'm not yeah. suffering for also, six months. Also, like, they're going to fucking, they're, they're going to waterboard these people, dude. Yeah. They're like, yeah, they're we, like, don't, they're like we don't know actually what their justice system is. It exactly. could be like, they're like oh, true. it's fine. Dude. And then they leave and they're like fucking torturing yeah. them and like fucking, uh, Aaron Carter is gonna be like, raise your hand if you want. Let's have a discussion. Who, raise your hand if you want to <laughs> leave, and then have the people raise your hands. Like, all right, get those people and fucking waterboard them, dude. Yeah. <laughs> or, or he just does a gesture and sniper shots start firing. <laughs> well, no, no, because yeah, it's like falls, a squid, no. squid game no, style, no, no, no. where like they're just like mowed down. No, like, there's no, there's no killing because then yeah. the society will fall. You can't lose. You have to just convince just them by them. sheer fear. They'll do some weird cloning shit. Maybe I'm surprised dude. cloning wasn't brought up as a potential solution. Honestly, cloners, dude, my, from Camino. Actually, like 
my thought was, was is cloning not involved at all in the society? It feels like some no. sort of IVF no, thing is involved. They're, they're, they're not cloning. Well, IVF they're maybe, but cloning, no. Mm, okay. I, yeah, I think it's dude. more of like an IVF slash okay, okay, intense okay. fetal screening of some kind. Yeah. And so they go down there and they're like, hey, we, and then uh, Aaron Carter's like, well, you gotta, you gotta reject them, dude. Gotta tell them no. And he's like, dude, I'm not gonna do your dirty work, you piece of shit, dude. You fucking well dressed animal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> well dressed animal. <laughs> I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna be cool, dude. If they wanna come, they can come. If they don't, whatever. But I'm gonna give them like, I don't know, how, how many months did they give them? He says six, six months. months. Yeah. Uh, this is, this is a stupid idea, dude. First of all. <laughs> six but months isn't gonna change anything. Yeah. They should have just said, who wants to go, dude? We're, we're going. If you wanna I mean, go, that's that's going, yeah. It's, 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 yeah. A, it's a lost game. Game, they shouldn't if be anything after six anymore. months way more people will want to go yeah also <laughs> also also if if taking some of your people destroys your fucking society then your society shitty dude and that's my argument is that yeah. if it's really that fragile that like people aren't allowed to make choices then this yeah. is not a real well, society. yeah like the destruction of, of the society was a given from like the very very beginning because either they die via stellar core earthquakes or they collapse because they got exposed to the outside world also like, that's it what do they mean by destruction do they do they literally just mean they are going to all die or do they mean their society will no longer be super fucking perfect because it, it, it means that it, the entire like point of their society is is no longer it's is no and that's, longer. Yeah. And that's totally yeah. fine because they're normies, that they're normies dude. Like, well yeah but i mean like it's it's these people who supposedly grew up in such a society that ingrained yeah, these bullshit, ideals dude. into them and it's like yes I mean, you have Happen like, to believe in the wrong yeah. fucking shit, according to me, but uh, you believe in it, and fuck. I mean, it's easy for us to say. Like it happens I mean, a lot. I, <laughs> I say this; it's easy for us it to say because Earth. we don't believe in that. But I guess in these, in their hearts, they really believe in that. But, so. but then, but, what do you but, do? But, with no, that? but logic, that, like you that's to, kind of back that's to you believe it's, bullshit again. Yeah, it's not what you believe. It's it's what's logical. The show is about logic, dude. They should have a rapper called Logic. In fact, there is a rapper called Logic. <laughs> um, this is what I what I'll say. If your society is, is that fragile, then it shouldn't exist. It, it, yeah, if it's, it's a non-resilient yeah. society. Like, Just like I joke around a lot and I say, like, oh, if society goes tits up, I would eat my cat and stuff. But to be honest, like, if there's like a zombie apocalypse per se, I don't want to live in that world. Like, what 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 are we surviving for? Mm. Uh yeah, I agree. I would be one of yeah. I'd want to be one of the first to go. Yeah. Yeah. It's I, like you watch like what is it called? Uh Last fucking of Us. The Last of Us that too, but remember that movie with Vigo Mortensen, um, The Road. Yeah. That's and they're like book. they are book, they are right? it's a great book and a great movie. Yeah. And then like, but they are just suffering to survive. Yeah. And you get the sense that it's because Vigo Mortensen wants his son to live, right? Yeah. But then you're kind of also kind of going, but for what? What do you guys well, to, to, to be fair, <laughs> I don't think the people in the society were thinking like that before the arrival of the enterprise. Yes, yeah, so they all seem to be having yeah, a yeah, yeah. they were having no, an yeah, okay yeah, life. Yeah. yeah. Everyone yeah, yeah. was okay. So, ostensibly. But I'm, but, I'm, but I'm just saying I'm just saying like sometimes society's too shitty and it's just not worth it. Like I mean we're getting to well, the like point it, right yeah, now. It was so <laughs> fragile that it was bound to die at some yeah. point. That that much is agreeable. When the right. when the sure. water wars start then it's just not worth it. Like, I'm yeah, like, I'm, I'm I, I, yeah. When the water, when I agree with I don't Ricardo, want to fight alongside Kevin Costner. <laughs> yeah, dude. when the when the water wars begin, I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, 100%. I'm gonna check out, dude. When we start yeah. fighting over AC, I'm done. Yeah. AC, oh boy, ACDC. Yeah. The, the, yeah. Their music will never die. Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that to your heart. Y y those those schoolboy shorts will always be dancing up and down the stage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give this a fucking plain old fucking five because it was lame, dude. It was it was a it was this society's average and this fucking episode's average, and it, it's fine. To to be honest, like out of all the episodes that that I haven't liked. This is just benign. Like it didn't hurt anybody. It's fine. Like mm. it was. It probably didn't cost a lot to make this episode. It's sets they probably had. I get it. You got to fill some fucking episodes up with bullshit. They all can be bangers, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this yeah. is this is a five. It didn't. It didn't really hurt anybody. It didn't really. I mean, I think. Honest, see, okay. So that's my argument. That's why I'm giving it a four. I think oh. it actually sends a bad message because. This is the exact opposite message of up. It's funny because up the long ladder is superficially offensive because of the Irish stereotypes. 
But yeah. I think it has a better message overall. I don't even remember that episode, dude. So basically what happens is there were two colony ships a long time ago that went to colonize a planet, but they accidentally got split. So one colony decided to stay culturally conservative and they became Irish people, essentially. Yeah, like they old became Irish. Irish people. Kind of. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I looked it up since you, since we last discussed it. And yeah, so yeah is that's like exactly in, Like happened. England and, I- and Ireland, kind of? No, because because then because because then the other colony became super hyper advanced, but there were so few of them that the only way to continue surviving as a colony oh, is to keep cloning people. I remember people. now. I remember, yeah, I remember yeah. now. I remember now. So what they then realized is that hey, the only These way for both fuck. cultures to survive is for them to combine, and, and we all fucking. like you know put aside uh, you know our what? differences and learn about each other and do all that. This Marvin, episode, Marvin, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you're right. I remember the episode now. I'm going to mm-hmm. give this a four as well. Okay. <laughs> you convinced me. You're right. Well, yeah, because then, mm-hmm. then the moral of this episode, not really the moral, but at least the last word Picard says is that we Ooh, came- it's, it's really shitty. There was a nice last, society last, and we ruined yeah. it. And I, I would argue that it was never a nice society. I would argue yeah. that it was- had It was the, a well-dressed society. Yeah, it was well-dressed, like, like both literally and like figuratively well-dressed in that- you know, they thought they had it all going and they, they thought they were doing great. But the slightest amount of anything made tons of people realize this is bullshit. And the whole time, because I don't remember this episode very well until we rewatched it, I was waiting for a shoe to drop. I wanted them to be like, oh, it turns out there's like a some sort of second class citizen of the people made up of people who are genetically inferior or, you know, it's, that's a trope and that would have been tropey. So it's actually kind of good that they didn't go into that actually. But I also think that it's sort of weird that they kind of accepted that this was a good idea the whole time. Like everyone kind of accepts that's okay. Like even Worf, when he says they should be allowed to leave, he doesn't directly say, well, the society sucks. Everyone agrees the society is great. And I don't think it is. I think I don't like, know if they agree that it's great. They just they just agree that it is what it is and that it was they keep separate and that on they've its ruined own. it. Like they keep. Oh, yeah, they, they ruined what they had. They ruined their lives and what they knew to be their lives. Like with their own intervention, they didn't have to solve a problem that already existed with like two ships that that diverged. They caused inadvertently or they contributed to the destruction more directly of their way of life, not their lives, but their way of life. Which either way, they would have had to either do that to themselves right, right. And already. Then that, that's kind of what I thought. Like when you originally said that you were mad at this episode, I first thought it w- it might be because it's a pointless argument to be like, well, should we have saved them? Should we not? It, it's moot because they would have been dead anyway. Yeah, I think I think for me, it's the fact that they're all sort of being like feeling bad about it and being like, oh, we ruined this. And in my opinion, they didn't fucking ruin anything. Like they did the best they could. And actually, there's a lot of argument to be said that the society is terrible and they shouldn't have been doing this in the first place. But every there is no like, there is no discussion about whether this society there is a little bit with Jordy. Jordy kind of goes, uh, yeah, this, like I pin all yeah. the, I pin all of that on Jordy. Jordy is the indictment of the society, right? And then, but other than that, there's there's not that much. Jordy is kind of just like a, uh, but wait, and then they go, okay, thanks, Jordy, and then they move on, and then the sto- the the thing ends with them saying, well, that's over now, and that sucks, and it's like, ah, uh, I don't know. I, I just think it's a it's a bad theme, and I think. But I think like otherwise, the episode technically is constructed pretty well, other than the performance of the the ambassador president dude. I think he's fine. I just don't buy any sort of romantic interest in, in their relationship. But she she loves a well dressed man, dude. Yeah, no, she loves a guy in a uniform. In yeah, a, in a good suit. Well, it was just a fling. She, it's not that deep. Yeah, well, she's she was like, like she was like, she's so she, emotional. Like, she's she, like, she was well, emotional because she, she, it was unprofessional. She, yeah, I yeah. think that's where it was coming from. Yeah. She was just like, fuck, I inserted myself in this And he goes, thing oh my God, I'm in love with you. I fall in love with you. And yeah, it's but like, that's yeah. on him. I don't, that's, no, no, not that. Not, I'm not, again, it's not about whether it's the, the text. I'm talking about the performance. I don't cut, see his performance at all. He caught the worst STD. I mean, his performance does not. Whatever his performance does not come across as he's in love with her. Like compared to T-Bag, he's he's no T-Bag. You could tell really liked Deanna. (laughs) Like, well, I think well, T-Bag's T-Bag, dude. He likes everybody. (laughs) His whole um, his whole framing is to show that um, you know, even this guy, this guy has been surrounded by perfection his whole life, and he wants 
the diversity. You know, like I think why? they're, they're yeah, like, why the subtext is telling you that this society sucks because she's well, exactly she's true. She she's got an actual, all the she's subtext is telling you the society sucks. Well, I don't feel like it's that. really that he, big a he, deal. He literally says, "I've I've been surrounded by all these women that are bred to be perfectly attractive to me." No, that's not I, exactly what they what the society was was no, built he, on. No, he says that he literally says, "I have all these women they around talk about me compatibility that are yeah. no that he says that I'm supposed to find attractive." and I don't and I don't find them attractive I find I don't know. you I don't attractive that. Deanna I, he I, literally yeah, there, says there that. is a line towards the end where he I think the actual phrasing he's like there are tens of women I'm supposed to be compatible with but I'm falling in love with you yeah that's what he right. says like and I think but he didn't say because 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 he didn't specifically say because they're fucking beautiful or anything I mean yeah, I, I think it's, I, I, it's, a, it's a genetic it's compatibility. Compatibility. compatible yeah, yeah, yeah compatible meaning like you know I think physically mentally whatever you know but no and, uh, but see, that, that's you're you're adding that he never says he just says compatible that could be like mentally compatible it could be like that you're adding the physical part for them it could the compatible could literally yeah. just mean oh you'll genetically make a nice person yes exactly you exactly. know yeah, uh, right. uh, like we're both we're both leaders or like but we're both I think scientists. At the, at the end of the day, that that whole that whole storyline of their love story is supposed to encourage. It's just it's supposed to demonstrate like diversity and and him right, being right. like, oh, I am interested in stepping outside of what I'm supposed to be interested in, and mm. and that's supposed that's what their relationship. That's why there's probably it's it's not well written that way, but. I can tell that's what they're trying to accomplish here is especially since she's half betazoid. Mm -hmm. um, so they're just trying to be like, look, diversity, it, you know, it, it can happen. He fell in love with someone that's different. Did you know um, that exotic women are attractive? <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. Yes, going along that vein. Yeah, exactly. I'm, so, I'm sure that's not exactly what they meant. I'm sure they, you know, behind closed doors, they were like, well. That's why they hired Marina we Service. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I'm going to give this a, I think, probably a four like you guys as well. Um, I just have one thing that I was kind of wondering about is why did they just not, why did Picard not, he makes references to what I feel is Nazi Germany and he doesn't say Germany or anything like that or Nazis or anything. He does say we have past examples of this where this has been an issue and we understand that this does not go well. It is implied that he is of course talking about the most famous example. Actually, I think they don't imply that. And I think that's the yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah. No, but I, I am agreeing with you. I wish they said I wish Picard said this was Nazi Germany. We went through this. This is what happened. I I wish that, you know, I think Star Trek is so good with calling out things like rape and sexual assault and like not being afraid to shy away from that. And I really wish Picard was like, you know, my did point is they didn't even imply it. I don't think they actually I, I, implied it. I didn't it. think they no, I didn't mean that they implied it. I'm saying that they he made one very throwaway line that a person can make a very distant stretch to. I guess in my mind, that's where it went for me because that's the most obvious line. I, I do agree with you that it's not a very strong line and I wish it was stronger. I think we're saying the same thing. You know what I mean? Like I wish there was more of a stance there to talk about some of the most, if not the most famous uh, um eugenics well, issue I, I, I will bring our... this up because this is specific to star trek lore there is yeah. such a thing in star trek lore specifically called yeah the eugenics wars yeah, yeah. which yeah. supposedly happened in like the the literal 90s for them yeah <laughs> so but um, this is, so to, the problem i think with the script is that i don't think they were even thinking about that i think they literally just thought this is cool this is a cool idea. They didn't think about it in terms of historical terms. They can't be that stupid. I think they I don't were think that they stupid. thought it was just cool because every like the society collapses. Be, like I mean, they they can't be that dumb. It's you're. We're not. They're, they're, they're not, literally like, if they using really phrases that cool, like there would be eugenics. no converts. Yeah, but if, but I, I, yeah, exactly. Like I, the, I, there's I think, no way the writers didn't. I think, think I don't about think people so passionate Nazi about Germany, leaving if like, if they thought yeah. the society was good. But I think if I, they were thinking about eugenics, they would have actually mentioned it because there's yeah. a whole war yeah. about it. 
Yeah. So I they think it said, literally they, wasn't on their mind. They either would have said that you, you just well, feel like the card sour right. attitude toward it is their like nod to like, well, this is an attitude one can have about eugenics. Well, he, the way Picard talks about it is almost like a personal opinion. He, cause he even says in my opinion, at least, at least that's the way I see it. Like he doesn't talk about it as if it was a historical event. He talks about it almost as if like, I don't know. It's just like a weird personal idea he has, which I thought made that scene really odd. And to me, that's the writers exposing that fact that they didn't even consider eugenics. They just thought this is an idea, like like no one connected it. Well, it might be that they consider eugenics and they literally don't like, How could they, you they not, see a space though? in like, they see a gray area. I have no idea. How, how could you not? You'd have to be like the most unintelligent, dumb person on planet earth to not make this connection well okay we've already gone on the, we, on this very podcast we've already gone over examples of people already selecting like traits in their young and stuff like that like humanity has mm-hmm. already to some degree embraced this concept yeah but i think maybe why i mean i think it's actually a little bit more surface level that maybe like controversy ratings being too you know, they probably wanted to keep they had, it. As they had a rape episode of the last possible. episode, though. No, that's that's what I'm saying is I'm very curious as to why they didn't name this for what it is. You know, See, that's like, why I, I also did a lot of research. Just like I wanted to know if they talked about it. Like I wanted to know if there was some sort of discussion amongst the crew, the writing crew, and the staff about like, hey, what what is this about? Like, what did you guys think it was about as you were making it? Everyone just kind of talks about it. Michael Pillar says, this is the moment I felt good about season five. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, I don't know what you're like. I don't think they what actually. What is the context of that comment? He, he he rewrote the script. So the the original writer for the script was Adam Belanoff. And there was a few ideas in it. He was more of like a Blue Lagoon situation where every guy looked the same. Every woman looked the same. And they were all dressed like, remember that the, the, uh, Justice Planet, the planet where everyone was dressed in like super skimpy clothing and they're all super happy and having casual sex with everyone. It was in the season mm-hmm. one episode. He kind of redid that and that was their society. So I think that's why they rewrote it. But so Michael Pillar rewrote it and he said, oh, I felt good about my rewrite. This is the first time I felt good about season five. And I'm like, that's such an where odd statement. Where are you statement. pulling this from, by oh, the this way? This is from uh, a Memory Alpha and other sources because I like Googled other things about the episode and fans for sure talk about the eugenics part. But none of the crew or staff do. And I find that interesting. Yeah. I mean, we're all saying, I mean, I'm saying the same thing as you. I wanted them to and they didn't. So yeah, that and sucks. Th- it's just fascinating to me that as far as I can tell, it's not even in their like brain space that that's a possibility for this episode. And I think that's so strange. I, I don't know why it's not even in their radar because it seems so obvious to me. Maybe it's because yeah. it's we have the hindsight of it being like 30 years later. So I yeah, don't know. I wish we can go back in time and be like, why won't you mention Nazi Germany and eugenics and how this is an exact reference to that? I mean, that's that's what I mean. It's literally that. <laughs> so I mean, and, and what they were all about. So yeah, I don't yeah, know. What's up with that? What? How? How deep are we? You know, I would love to definitely talk to. I would have loved to talk to anybody who was involved in the writing of this episode yeah. on on why that was not. I mean, you might have already addressed. said it. They they might just not think about the topic or concept much at all. Yeah, I think that's that would be very sad if that is the yeah, answer. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think that's unfortunate. I think that's I want to give people the benefit of the doubt that that's not true, but damn, I would be very upset to hear it's like, oh, we just didn't think about it. Be like, wow, and we know that eugenics exists insane. in their like fabric of storytelling it's a war is named after it and later not, i'm not going to spoil anything but later star treks talk about eugenics as a topic so it's definitely a thing the original series point talks about it so wait it wasn't it wasn't the original con or yes like a product exactly. of eugenics yes yeah yeah he was one of the progenitors of the eugenics war because he thought he was making perfect people so Right. They talked about this, but I, I just I just find it really surprising. It, it um, might be that the writers just thought like, well, eugenics is okay if it's just a tiny little alcove of it where everyone <laughs> is already bought in on the concept. And they're super cool. <laughs> and then uh, you know, literally no one actually knows any better and it's all and no one can feel bad about the situation that they happen to be in. 
No one yeah. knows to feel worse than they do. I mean, a lot of fans have corrected me when I talked about Khan before, because I said Khan is some sort of terrorist. And that's that's not true. It turns out Khan was actually a tyrant and he controlled like a quarter of the earth at one point. But he apparently right. did so peacefully. So that's apparent the little island thing here in this episode, Khan did that to Earth, but for like a quarter of the earth. So <laughs> I don't an, know. He was an island boy? Yeah, he was an island boy, but a big an island. Island boy. <laughs> <laughs> island boy. So yeah, I mean, like, I'm, I'm Marvin. You and I are saying the exact same thing. Yeah. We wanted them to go there, and they didn't, and that's that. That leaves a big question mark. Yeah, it's you know? it's really like, odd. It's very odd. But anyway, uh, or at least address score, it so. in some in some way. So yeah, I give it a four. And it also just sucked in some other ways that have already been mentioned. But. Well, y- you've you've kind of set me up to paint myself <laughs> as a I'm very sorry. evil person by no, rating this no, episode no, any no. higher than any of you. No, no, no. <laughs> obviously so not. Because I'm an island boy? <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, I'm willing to give this a 6.5. Okay. Well, that's actually not as high as I thought you were going to say. Uh, I mean, well, I was at a 7. But I was at a 7, <laughs> but like, I got knocked down by 0.5 based on the discussions we've had. Because, right, yeah, right, like there are right. some big like gaping holes in it. But the thing... I what I liked about the episode was what I touched on before earlier and I kind of like the snippy argument that Picard has with Riker at the very end where Riker's oh, yeah, like yeah. <laughs> well it, it's not the prime directive they're human yeah, yeah, yeah. like, Picard's like fuck it man like god fuck <laughs> like, he's just so mad that is really funny that Riker immediately goes that's not prime directive idiot <laughs> yeah. like, <it's> a- <laughs> and since when have they have they cared about prime directive like well, I mean that, that, that's what's funny it's like Picard is like uh, apparently so shook that he's like god damn it like this is why we need the fucking prime directive, right? And for our records, like you know, we can't, we can't even use it here. That's not, that's not it. You're, you're super wrong, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> Riker was also one of the proponents of yeah, get all these people off the planet. Fuck yeah, it. exactly. Like, like, yeah. Riker's totally in the right here, and it's yeah. and it's fine. Like you could just be on Riker's side. So that's yeah. why I'm okay with like the stance and tone of the episode overall. It's because there are characters who have the viewpoints that that are good. There yeah, are there are characters yeah. who have the right opinions and ideas. That you know that that I'm able to latch on to, Jordy, for example. Oh yeah, Jordy is a shining light in this in this episode. I think. Yeah, actually, Jordy actually did a very yeah. good job in this episode. So I will he give did. special props to Jordy in this episode. I'll give mm-hmm. Jordy and a how seven. they handled Jordy <laughs> because it's it's probably some of the best Jordy stuff he's had in a little bit. I, I guess agree. if you do examine I it, agree. there are, there are three characters for leaving, three characters for staying, and one character who's on the fence, which is Picard. You right, have, but then you're frustrated that they're trying to make any sort of attempt at balancing this at all. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah. think you should. This is not a both sides issue to me. That's the issue. <laughs> right, right, right. And and that that that, that that's really I, all I agree. From, I I, yeah. I don't believe this is a both sides issue either. It's a pretty yeah. open and closed case. In my <laughs> yeah, like my own personal philosophies with like human like autonomy you want the matrix though so you well, like not, not just the matrix it's like i feel like life <laughs> itself is an involuntary choice forced upon everyone oh so I, you're, I you're and so every yeah. other piece of your existence if that's chosen for you too like whatever, you're a student man. of determinism you believe mm. that everything that's fascinating is no 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 not determinism not that oh, everything's sorry, set in stone because okay, that's what okay. determinism is okay okay mm-hmm. so not that but like a lighter I, I, version of that, I, I guess. I hear you, Dan. I hear you, Dan. I'm just saying no one has to be here. No one has to be here. So <laughs> no one, so no one. What asked difference does it make from if, the baby if someone <laughs> is is kind of planning out the rest of our lives because we didn't plan to be here in the first place? Right. And on a personal level, if I happened to never have existed, like if I never knew that I would not have existed, what well, do you I wouldn't care? Know. Yeah. Exactly. I so any other that. scenario in which I don't in any in any other form that I would be in, like not my problem. Not I my think chair. I would have. I th- <laughs> not my chair, not my problem. I think yeah. I would have liked yeah. the episode a lot better actually if the episode ended with Picard having a different little speech or conversation at the end instead of him being like, "Oh, we fucked up the society." Shit. I th- I I think it would have been kind of cool if he went. Well, what could we have done? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like I kind of wanted Riker to be like, "Well, they were dead either way." And yeah, when you just saved like, some right. lives, man. Yeah, yeah. He's like, at the end of the day, we saved lives. And I like, mean, that would have been a good. And then that Picard would have been like, a good did part. We, did we really? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a like, good yes, part. You call to, that a life? 
to introduce the history and some of the references to Nazi Germany and and things like that. I think that would have been a good he, opportunity he, too. It, Sarah is, is like like a dad. She's fucking obsessed with World War Two. Oh yeah, uh, I'm totally obsessed with World War Two. <laughs> she's like she's like, why didn't they talk about the goddamn Nazis? She's Cotton Hill. Yeah, she's yeah. like, back then yeah. I killed thirty yeah. Nazis with this. Yeah. <laughs> gotta talk about Nazi Germany. Yeah. Um, I, no, I, but I, I think I, it would have been that would have been a good scene to do that, and you know, a little bit, a little bit yeah. of. Referencing. Yeah, you know, like how the drum head ended with yeah. a little speech and then like Well, okay, uh, to be know. fair though, I think in most cases when they try to like bring up like actual tragic events in history, they usually don't name it like explicitly. They did mention Hitler. I guess they did once mention <laughs> Hitler. Yeah, that's so, true. Uh, but that was one like, time, but then the other times are, I've, I can count to like several other episodes where, where Picard was like well, back in the old days, Earth too had its problems with you know yeah. like war. a vague concept that we are currently <laughs> yeah. dealing with. They here. do keep yeah. it general. Um, yeah, you know what's good so far? Picard has never said so far. Back, back we back in the, our day, we used to be racist, and we're no longer racist. Yeah, I'm really he, glad they haven't said that. Like yeah. that. Completely <laughs> solved racism. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you, this With the show- election of our first black Starfleet administrator, <laughs> they successfully concluded me. the matter. The show would lose me at that point. <laughs> uh, all right, it we- was Tyler Perry. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was Tyler yeah. Perry. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, and he died. I think, he, I think he's he united the, that. Yeah. He united Starfleet. He united uh, those. Federations. I thought for a second you told me that Tyler Perry died, and oh. I was like, what? <laughs> Yeah, dude. Wow. You're like, dude, he died in 9 11, dude. Um, <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Oh, dude. shit. <laughs> uh, uh, guys, uh, it didn't have enough patent talk, uh, according to Sarah or Doug the MacArthur. <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> Uh, a five for, a four not, for me. Not enough talk about Hojo's. Yeah, and- yeah. <laughs> She's like, when are they going to talk about the goddamn fucking Nazis? <laughs> yeah, when are they going to talk about the Nazis? What about D-Day? What about four, Normandy? Four, four, four stars four, for me. Four, four, yeah. six. Wait, what were you? You were 6.5, Dan? Yeah. 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 All right, all right. 6.9. Let's watch <laughs> Dunkirk. Ah, <got> <laughs> Let's all watch um, Dunkirk. Let's all watch 1942. Or was that, yeah, was, was that that movie? Or was it 1912? 1912. Yeah, well, that'd be World War Let's all watch fucking <laughs> Bloodsport. And <Yeah. laughs> uh, call it a day. Let's um, all watch Double Down with Neil Breen. Yeah. <laughs> Watch yeah, well, if you want an uplifting <laughs> message about saving the world, watch a Neil Breen movie. Yeah, yeah, actually, he's killed a million people today, and that saved the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, that we watched. This is a masterpiece society. Thanks for listening, everybody. If you guys uh, like that, you can uh, you know, leave us a comment or a rating or a review or wherever you are. Either if Apple you do Podcasts, or don't, whatever you don't have YouTube to. YouTube or Spotify, yeah. wherever it doesn't matter. And also, if you ever want to send us an email, you can always email us at contact at newbiestartrek.com. That's contact at newbiestartrek.com. Full contact. <laughs> uh, so this letter comes from Leanna, who signed it as a laid off copy editor and longtime Trekkie. So- oh, boy. Is she going <laughs> to shit on us? <laughs> well, uh, the, the. Is this relevant? Was- well, this, that's just how they sign their email. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. sorry. But their, but their subject line is, I am not a merry man. I am a merry woman. Hi, everyone. I'd like to thank the ghost of Steve Jobs for making sure the Apple podcast algorithm sent me to your podcast earlier this year. Yes, dude. All right. <laughs> I watched TNG. From Thanks the for USB C, Steve. <laughs> Finally, yeah, dude. Thanks for inventing USB C while you're dead. Thank uh, you, uh, <laughs> Tim Apple. <laughs> I watched TNG from the airing of the very first episode and wasn't sure if a rewatch podcast of any kind of TV show would be that interesting. But hearing recaps from newbies' perspectives and so many decades later is enlightening and hilarious, especially with the tangents and so many appropriate uses of the phrase piece of shit. What's more? <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, that, got that, that got me, dude. That got me, dude. Um, <laughs> What's more, I got laid off in late July, so I've been Aww. going back uh, and listening sorry. to a bunch of your earlier episodes yeah. and laughing you know what? to myself. Yeah, the, whoever you're working for, they were a piece of shit, dude. <laughs> they yeah. true. Yeah. 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 They're pieces of shit. They didn't value you. You're going you're gonna to go bigger and better places. You'll be better. Absolutely. Yeah. In fact, Absolutely. you may be there now. You yeah, might you be know at what? that better you know place now. They did you a favor. 
They did you a yeah. favor. Yep, Those pieces sure of did. shit. Total well, pieces of shit. Uh, and then uh, she concludes, listening to a bunch of your earlier episodes and laughing to myself whenever I need the entertainment. So just here to say thank you, Liana, a laid off copy editor and longtime tricky. So. Oh, that's thank sweet. You. Thank you. Thanks, Liana. Still out looking for yeah. something to do. Uh, we wish you luck. Yes. yes. I know you would have found an awesome job by now. But you know what? I bet you that you're you're in a great spot right now. I feel like everything happened. No, don't, don't say that because what if they're not? They know, well, dude. Oh, well, I also Marvin, just Marvin, I also don't you, think you, 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 you jinxed it, dude. <laughs> I don't think everything <laughs> happens for a reason, but I think everything can be useful. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, so Leanne, use a rage, dude. Use a rage you yes. have right now. Use and it. you fucking you fucking rage it into existence, dude. That's how I run my <laughs> life, dude. A lot of people are like, oh, positivity and fucking fuck your positive thoughts. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here, dude, with your positivity, dude. It's I run on on like anger and rage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Revenge. Look at me! Look at me now, dude. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> look so at angry now. right now. <laughs> yeah. I just want to read one really quick email. Uh, what is the name of the song Ricardo starts singing often? <laughs> that is "In the Mood" by Glenn Miller uh, the, and the, his orchestra. He, he wrote it as "What's the but of the bop 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 one?" From someone named CL. So thanks, CL. Oh, we, we hope we hope <laughs> we hope you we answered your burning question. Think, that you're like, what is yeah. that? I think so the way you say it, Ricardo, like, you always putting an extra note or two in and. I, you know, kind of gets me every I time. But <laughs> I know, dude. Uh, I was actually uh, liked that song before I ever heard you sing it. So <laughs> now you hate it. Yeah. No, it's it's just had to uh, transform into something else. Oh, <laughs> like when you set a song as an alarm clock. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah. kind of like. Mm, mm. Well, why? Why, um, Marvin? Did I start playing that song where we used to work? Is that a thing? Was that a thing? Yeah, you, we did that sometimes at work. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. When we're you had like, to get in the mood. Yeah, think, we were. We, we were we like, ran, hey, we oh, randomly play, right? Yeah, we, we would ran, be like, oh, oh, right. Uh, this is the song we're going to use for this trailer. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Damn it. Okay, that's a good. Adam, come in here. I got to show you this cut. I got to show you this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Oh my god. How come I never knew about this part of the lore? Because that's amazing. That's right, dude. This would be like my um my uh what is it called? Like the Rick Roll. Rick Roll. Yeah. That would be but that's so much better. Yeah. And yeah. then what we did once is, because uh, we did this also before for the the Mr. Worldwide version of t- Africa. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the His his remix of Africa. That was a yeah. oh, Toto, okay. Where we played it 10 seconds later on each computer. And I think we did a similar version with In the Mood. I think we just played it really loud. I think that's what yeah, happened. Yeah. I think okay. we just played it really loud to annoy our supervisor who was sharing the wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh but but yeah that's 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 in the mood we're always in the mood here yeah in newbie star trek and also if you'd like to stay in the mood with us you can find other things we do at fugitiveframes.com there's all mm-hmm. sorts of stuff we lots do of other there. things lots of other things and next week we're gonna have quite the conundrum Uh-oh. that's the name of the episode Ooh, i love that word i love the word conundrum it's it is a nice word conundrum because you could use it in any in any way like you could be like i like the conundrum all over her <laughs> uh, you know <laughs> I'd, like to, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'd like to conund that whole drum <laughs> yeah oh. mm. Mm. Well, well well she's a real I hearing conundrum. other words now and i'm not sure i like all the words i'm hearing conan she's got a, the drum. She's got a big old conundrum dude uh, <laughs> and you know how i'm into conundrums um conan yeah, i love the it, drum I love it. My, that conundrum don't my yeah. conundrum don't. Back in, <laughs> back, back in my day, they they would cover them conundrums. And now they're just popping out of their shirt. <laughs> All right, we're gonna conundrum next Did week. Did you like goodbye. his conundrum? <laughs> yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye bye. Average size conundrum. <laughs> Signing off with average size conundrums. <laughs> Okay, bye. All right, bye. Did you guys listen to my my Batman song? Oh yes, yes. I didn't get a chance to because you sent it to me while I was at work. Beautiful song, dude.